Uh, about to have another one. Tonight, you've got a treat for you. Uh, it is the Matt and Matt show. Matt Searle and Matt Housel. Uh, it ought to be a, a fantastic show, one that you will probably never forget. Uh, two catchers calling a game. It ought to be interesting. One who likes to get on the umpires a pretty good bit. That's not me. <laughs> so, here we go. You're starting lineups tonight, brought to you by Family Choice Financial, located at 1105 Sunwood Drive in Grenada. Let Family Choice Financial make a positive in- impact on your financial solutions. This game is going to be between the Kosciuszko Whippets and the Bio Academy Colts. Uh, our Grenada Chargers will play the Colts tomorrow, uh, but this will be the last game for the Whippets, uh, for the Whippets tonight. Uh, let's see. They, uh, they'll start off. Let's see. They'll have Andrew Mansell playing left field. He'll be batting first. Holden McGee playing third base, and he's batting second. Benny Powell will be playing center field, batting third. Barrett Kewen catching tonight. He'll be batting fourth. Braxton Smith's on the, on the mound. He's batting fifth. John Wyatt Roscoe, right field, batting sixth. Ryan Tillman batting uh, batting seventh, playing second base. Aiden Howard batting eighth, playing first base. And Braden Rigby playing shortstop, batting ninth. That's your lineup for the Kosciuszko Whippets. For the Bio Academy Colts, as they come to the plate, uh, we'll have Reed Hallman playing left field, batting first. Carson Allen playing right field, batting second. Bo Linkus playing shortstop, batting third. Brazier Cox pitching tonight, batting fourth. Jason Neal playing second base, batting fifth. J.R. Isler batting sixth, playing third base. Batting seventh, Ryan Mallett playing first base. Batting eighth is Elliot Lloyd catching. Batting ninth, Chase Chase Chacon batting, playing center field and batting ninth, like I said. So, this Matt, is a good I think start. we got to get our scoreboard swapped. What do you mean? The Whippets, our home team. Well, <laughs> that may be a challenge, Matt. The first pitch was a foul ball to the third base side. Let's see if I can work on that while you call this game. This will be a challenge. Who's our pitcher tonight for Kosciuszko? Uh, that is going to be Braxton Smith. I saw Mr. Strike Smith. on the swing and strike on the outside. He uh, – he pitched some travel ball when we were little. I remember Braxton. He he's a good-looking kid. He is. tall, lanky. He was. He was then. He was then. He is now. He picked up with uh, the uh, Kosciuszko Hammerheads. That uh, ball on the inside. One of my boys played. One well, Paxton played with. So. Yeah, earlier we was watching play. I think you said you had a few of these kids that Paxton played with. Yeah, yeah, it's several of them over there. Um, got, uh, of course, like I said, Braxton pitching tonight. And I think uh, Holden McGee is playing, I think, third base. And there's several others over there as well that he played with. 2-2 two, two count on the batter here. Boy, this is, we're, we're working on this thing as we go. Ball outside. Got a full count. Uh, Matt, the shortstop for Kosciuszko, I actually coached him last summer. He actually played um, with Eli in our travel ball team. Okay. Braden Rigby. Picks, picks oh, yeah. Really yeah. good for us and plays shortstop, plays in center field. Just really good player for us. Yeah. I remember Braden actually. Uh, foul ball, a fly ball to right, and the left fielder is going to catch it in foul territory. <clears throat> Got one out. I don't mean to leave you hanging. I'm almost done. <laughs> Fifteen Carson Allen coming to the plate for the Colts. Strike on the outside part of the plate.
Same pitch, good pitch there. We're getting, can people hear us? Yeah, I'm getting texted by my wife. I called <laughs> out my mistakes already. Your mistakes or <laughs> my, our mistakes? My mistake. Okay. Staying fly ball to right, caught by the left fielder. <laughs> hey, man, you just got to get in it, you know. It's, it is what it is. We'll work on this thing. So that first batter flew out to left field, huh? Hey, yeah, it flew out to left, and it was a, it was a uh, foul ball. I called it in foul territory. Okay. One-two count on 15 here for the Colts. So Braxton is a big old tall kid. Um, I think he is just a sophomore, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have that roster in front of me with it. And they may not even have their uh, classifications on there. I'm not sure. But I think he was one year older than Paxton, so he would be a sophomore. Um, good athlete. 2-2 two -two count here. Oh, that's a good pitch. Catcher Great made pitch. that look a little better than <laughs> it he was, did. didn't he? Catcher did a really good job there. Yep. Good frame there by Mr. Kewen. The old backwards K. This will bring up uh, Bo Linkus, the shortstop for Bio Academy. Curveball. Yeah, a little high there. Not a bad pitch. Probably. Third batter, you don't really blame him for starting him off there with a curveball. It's uh, it broke just high. Yeah, that third batter is supposed to be your best hitter on your baseball team. That's right. There it is. Good hit, and that's why. Oh, right to him. Yeah. Line out to the right fielder there. He uh, he struck that one pretty hard, but right at uh, the right fielder, John White Rusco couldn't find his name in there. That top half of the inning, first inning, was brought to you by Cadence Bank. We appreciate their sponsorship to Charger Baseball. Absolutely. We appreciate them and all they do for us and our guys. And So that first half of the inning there, uh, no runs, no hits, no errors for Bio Academy. And with that, we'll take a timeout, and we'll go uh, to one of our sponsors. Church town, there's a gold dirt road to a whole lot of nothing. Got a deed to the land, but it ain't my ground. This is God's country. I saw the light in a sunrise, sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside, getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running. All right, Matt, we're back. Live action here at Charger Field where Bio is finishing up their warm-ups, and I still don't have the scoreboard right. So we're going to work on that some more. Let's see here. Look like for Bio, we got the old southpaw on the mound, number six, Brazier Cox. Brazier Cox, yeah. He's a big, tall, lanky kid, good-looking kid. Brings it from the left side. Don't mean to leave y'all hanging. Hanging, we're trying to fix this uh, scoreboard here. Our uh, our assistant coaches did a, a great job of coming in here uh, behind us after their game today, and uh, I'm not gonna say they messed up the scoreboard because they didn't. But uh, first up for Kaziesco is number 13, Andrew Mansell, playing left field today. Sale. 
All right, guys, what do we, what do we think about the scoreboard now? Don't tell me I, I don't have skills. Looks well, good. I don't tell First me I ain't got skills. From, uh, On the fly. Ball. <laughs> On the fly. Yes, sir. Hire me. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Another good one. Strike one. About belt high down the middle. One one count. Mr. Manziel is a pretty big presence mm -hmm. at the plate, is he not? He is. And he squares well, the butt. So he also must be pretty fast. I kind of ran the computer the first game, and Kosciuszko kind of bunted, tried to bunt a few times. Yeah, uh, you know, I, good friends with Jonathan Jones, who was their previous coach, and he is uh, he's big about small ball. Uh, he is uh, coaching for Neshoba Central now and maybe a team that we may see in the playoffs at some point because they're pretty pretty high ranked in 6a right now uh, if we get as we get that far i'm not even gonna say if it, as we get that far we hope to cross paths with them at some point in time but he is a uh, he's a bump machine he likes it and um coach mcbride played for him at kosciuszko and coached with him so he's probably got a similar f philosophy if i had to guess yep Got a 2-2 two -two count on Mr. Mansell. Get blocked Breaking there by the catcher. Dirt. Yeah. Catcher Elliot Lloyd there. That was a nice job of keeping that ball in front of him. Nobody on, but got to work on it regardless. Yep, got to block early. So maybe later in the game we'll, we'll yeah, may come. turn in for something, saving a run or two. Ball played left side, third baseman up, makes the play, and he got him. Good play there by the third baseman. Uh, J.R. Isler. Coming to the plate for Kosciuszko is number 22, Holden McGee. One out, bottom of the first. Good pitch. Start him off with a strike. Again, I'm uh, assuming that Holden is a sophomore as well. He was uh, another one of those boys that played with Paxton for a little bit on that Hammerhead team. So, uh, good athlete. He was a good player. Uh, on the outside the part. Ball there. Yeah, he just missed right there on the outside part. It was a good pitch, but he, but but Mr. Mr. Randy was right there. Fly ball. Oh. Boy, that thing was hit a mile high. Woo. Right there to caught it. Yeah. That was a uh, that was a tough play there. Especially in this night sky here. And yep. He got over there to it. This is gonna be Benny Powell. He uh he pitched in that last game, did a pretty good job to get Kosciuszko out of the game with Cleveland Central. That was a back and forth deal. Kosciuszko, I think, scored eight runs in the fifth inning in yeah. Cleveland Central. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. One zero -oh count. Good breaking ball. Evens it up to one and one count. Got a one one count here on Powell. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to fall. A piece too. of hitting there by Powell. Yep. Right there in front of the left fielder. Trying to keep a book so we'll kind of know where they what they did and. Where they went with the ball. Kosciuszko's got two outs, bottom of the first, runner on first. Yeah, this is going to be Barrett Kewen, the catcher. Uh, he, uh, I believe he was a catcher in the last game, and uh, he, he was having to be tough back there. He took some shots, so pretty big kid himself. Powell. 
watch this lefties. See what he got it as far as a move, Matt. Yeah, we like to rank these moves on first move between one and ten. Chip and I do. It's a good pitch right there to Kewin for strike one. Let's see if he'll show us one, and then I'll let you rank it one to ten, how good it is. Well, <laughs> However, we also understand that they don't always show us to their best on their first move either. So, If they've been taught, they, they know not to show the best move. That's right. Move. That's right. Ooh, Ooh. Kewin got a piece of that. High and deep. Left center, center fielder camps under it, though, and he makes that play for out number three. So, Kosciuszko gets a base hit uh, and is not able to do anything with it as Q and Skies won uh, out to center field. Pretty good piece of the ball right there. He just didn't hit it hard enough to get it past the center fielder. So, uh, not a bad job right there. We'd Kosciuszko. like to thank, you, uh, thank Farm Bureau as they were the bottom of the first uh, half inning sponsor. And thank yeah. you to Robert and all his agents for – Supporting Chargers baseball. Absolutely. And with that being said, we'll hear another word from our sponsors, and that being Farm Bureau. I believe they're next up. So here we go. At Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents like me are on a mission. It's our duty to offer you the right insurance so you can protect what's important to you. I enjoy using my time and insurance expertise to help folks in the Grenada community. It's just what I do. I'm George Chandler. Give me a call at 662-414-0541 for a quick home and auto or life insurance quote. And to learn more about Farm Bureau Insurance so you can save money and time. Go Chargers. Parents and students are just shocked when they find out with a 20 on your act you could go to home cc for free do you have a 20 on your act why yes wait 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 hold on a sec you're right i am shocked you're saying my tuition could be free <laughs> yes and your household income does not matter why in the world would homes community college offer free tuition with a 20 on the act see we don't want you drowning in college debt when you graduate in fact all of us here at homes are so committed to our students success we've kept our tuition well, lower than every other state community college. And even though parents and students are shocked by it and have a hard time believing it, just remember, your tuition could be free with a 20 on your ACT at Holmes CC. Sounds to me like there's no place like Holmes. That's Holmes Community College. All right, we're back with the Matt and Matt Show. We got Kosciuszko and Bio Academy squaring off tonight. The 8 o'clock, or I guess I should say the 8-15 game. We got started a little late. So, uh, anyway, as it stands, we have coming up here, Brazier Cox, the pitcher for uh, Bio Academy. Starts him off with a look like a breaking ball. I hear myself. Is that your phone? Yeah. <laughs> That's my phone. Please Sorry. cut it off. I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> I'd rather not hear myself. 1 0 count to Brazier Cox. Here's the pitch. That's a good pitch right there by Braxton Smith. Ball right across the plate. 1 1 count now. At uh. Cox, pretty big boy. He's mm -hmm. good size, left-handed. Might can run a little bit. He might can. This kid's pretty good size. Here's a pitch from Smith right there. Hard ground ball. Yeah, foul ball there to the right side. Out of play. Or no play, anyway. One, two, count. <laughs> Here's the pitch. That ball ground to second base. Nice play there by the second baseman. Ryan Tillman get that first out. We got Kevin Jackson up here, um, PA announcer. He's got jokes tonight. <laughs> now batting number four, Jason Neal. He's getting on me about the scoreboard still. I still think it looks pretty that good. That brings up number four, Jason Neal for Bio Academy. Yeah. 
Hits a hard foul ball off the batting cages. <laughs> smoked that ball, did he not? He smoked it. Hit it pretty hard. Probably yeah. put a dent in our building over there. Probably. Just another thing for us to have to have to get fixed. Then. Oh, Jason Neal playing uh, second base tonight. Here's a pitch by Smith. Ball outside. Not even close. Just a bit. 1-1 one, one count to Mr. Neal. Do y'all know if he's related to Neal Automotive? Do not know. That would be a good question to ask. I have no yeah. idea. Here's Kevin Jackson just confirmed he is not related to, I guess, Jason Neal. Uh, sells some used cars, I think, in Greenwood. What would we do without Kevin Jackson? Wealth of knowledge at the end of the table. It is. Right? It's just – it's, un <laughs> it's unbelievable what all he knows. 2-1 count. Braxton Smith delivers. Here's the pitch. Ball skied high to right field. Right fielder settles under it. Makes that play. So fly out there for out number two. Tell you what, pitching's pretty good tonight. And when I say good, I mean they're making them put the ball in play. Both sides are, and I like that, Matt. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, yep. I get uh, typically that that helps the no walks speed of the game. Let's, and, yeah. This will bring up J.R. Isler. He's uh, playing third base tonight for the Bio Academy Colts. Here's a pitch by Smith. Good curveball there on outside part. That thing broke hard and fast. That was a good one. Good pitch. Mr. Isler made a good play there over on third, first inning. He's a big boy, too. Here's the pitch. That ball was outside. Yeah, a little too far outside. Catcher can't handle that one. Coach Chaz has told me we're forgetting to change the camera mat when they're hitting. <laughs> I'm not forgetting. I just like this view. <laughs> Coach Hodges. He needs to come on up stay here. Stay in his lane. He, yeah, he needs to come he on up to here. Stay in his lane. Timing. I don't go down there and tell him what pitch to call. <laughs> How's that, Coach Hodges? You like that side better? That that view looked good. Here we go. Here's the pitch to Isler. Bow ball Final straight back. back. Yeah. Oh, Coach Hodges. One-two count. Number eighteen. I will say this: he calls he calls a good game because I call almost every pitch he calls, and we're pretty much in sync. So he knows exactly what he's doing, Matt Housel. He must be reading your mind on the field, Matt. Yeah. I, He's just really good. If he's following my lead, here's the pitch. Yeah, ball outside there. Like a, it's a good, it looked more like a slider than yeah. like a curveball. It throwing. broke, broke good. Uh, Q and tried to bring it back across the plate, not able to do so for a strike. Uh, just too far outside, couldn't fool Mr. Randy Gray out there. So, here's the pitch to Isler all over the plate too. By the way, Woo. it's another ball. Must be the approach that they work on when they get two strikes. Yeah, crowd that plate and dare them to come inside and take the hit, take the hit batsman, especially yeah. with two strikes. I like that crowd, two strikes, crowd the plate, choke up, spread out, put it in play. That's always been my philosophy. Here's the pitch by Smith. There it is. He put it in play for sure. Shortstop up with it. Makes a good play, but he is not going to get him. Mr. Isler is going to beat that play out, beat, the, beat that throw out, excuse me. Not a good, not a bad job by the shortstop out there getting to that ball. Um, that's I Braden see. Rigby. Braden Rigby. Yeah. Kind of had to go in the hole there. Tough play for him. That was a tough play for the shortstop. Surely, on. yeah, no doubt about it. We're going to give him a hit on that, though. Got two outs running at first for Bo. Top of the second. This Ball is, uh, up inside. Going to bring up Ryan Mallett, first baseman. Tell you what, these boys from Bio are pretty big boys. Yep. Ball 
Ball down. Yeah. What's that count? Two and no now? Two balls, no strikes. Two no on Ryan Mallet, the first baseman. Who is, isn't it D. Haynes, coach of Bio? It is, yeah. Coach Haynes coached here at Grenada. Did he play at Grenada? I don't think he. I don't he think he did. I knew he coached here. Played at Grenada. That ball, ball is hit a mile high. Left fielder is battling the wind, and he settles there and gets it. I tell you what, good play there uh, by the left fielder, Andrew Mansell. That was a tough one there. But he makes the play to fly out to left field. And that will be the third out of the inning for Bio Academy. Well, Matt, uh, that top of the second, our inning sponsor was Five Star Auctions. All right. Up in um, Sardis, I think it is. Okay. Give old Cameron Smith a call if he needs some help with yeah. selling some equipment. They've got a good uh, They've got a good ad, too. One of the best ads, I think. Uh, one of my kid's favorite ads. He loves that song. Uh, so, anyway. Well, Bio goes down with uh, in that inning. They get one hit, no runs. So, it's still a 0-0 game here. Kosciuszko versus Bio with that. We'll take a break and hear a word from one of our sponsors. You might see me at a Grenada High sporting event. We might cross paths at the grocery store or the next benefit. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Marianne Bale. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote. And to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. That's Marianne Bale at 662-226-4931. All right, we're back. Matt and Matt show live here in Grenada. Brings up number one, Braxton Smith. Yeah, pitcher. For Kosciuszko. Yeah. Bottom of the second. Good pitch. Like an off-speed pitch. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh. I don't know how many listeners we got out there, but they're fortunate to have two catchers sitting here calling this game. Here's the pitch right there on the inside part. Another good pitch. Yeah, that's a really good one there. 0-2 count. Got a few options here. Oh, he's got all the options in the world. What you going to call here? i probably put a curveball. Oh, you went to high fastball option. Now what you going to call? He changed his eye level there. I definitely would bury a uh, breaking ball in the dirt. Right there in the dirt. My favorite pitch. That's what I'd call. Got to have trust in your battery back here that he's going to block it up. And yeah. Throw him out at first. Well, let's see. Uh, Elliot Lloyd. Let's see what he's – I bet you he can do it. Pretty big boy. There's the pitch. He did it too. He didn't quite get it in the dirt, but uh, he threw him a curveball, and it was nasty. And Braxton Smith – doesn't offer at it, takes it for a strike, for strike three. So that's the first out of the inning for Kosciuszko. So bring up uh, John Wyatt Roscoe. He's batting from the left side. Lefty on lefty matchup here. Yeah, it's be interesting. Another another good start. Strike one there. You know, just as difficult as it is sometimes for right-handed hitters to hit against left-handed hitters, it is for left-handed hitters because you just don't you don't see them as much. Of course, I know your son Eli is left-handed, and and uh, we're fortunate to have several left-handers on our Grenada team, uh, but uh, just don't see them a lot. 
Strike two, 0 yeah. 2. 0 2. I tell you what, pitcher's coming right at him. He is not bare, he's not backing down. Ah, that's Breaking nasty. Ball. Oh, me. That was close to being a strike. Uh, Brazier Cox here. He's uh, he's coming right at him. He is not backing down. Bet you're going to see another strike. Here's the pitch. If I dribbles it right out here in the front, pitcher makes the play. Out number two. Yes, sir. This will bring up the second baseman, number six, Ryan Tillman. Not as good as Chip. I don't have any stats. I'm, he, I'm, he bring. Oh, you're getting our stats. Look at you, man. Yeah, he's usually our stat guy. He comes up here with all the stats. Coach, uh, Coach Flake sends us uh, uh, stats. Boy, he drilled that ball. Did Mr. Tillman to center field? It's sky high. Center fielder settles under it. Makes the play without a problem. So that is fly out for the third out to the center fielder. He kind of, I tell you what, he just missed really drilling that ball. Let me honest with you, Matt. Well, Matt, that, <coughs> our bottom of the second inning sponsor is Grenada State Bank. If you need some, need to open a checking account or need a loan, go see Mr. Chris Hathcock at Grenada State Bank. Yeah, go by and see those guys with all your money, and I know they'd appreciate it for sure. Uh, with that, uh, Kosciuszko goes down actually one, two, three in that inning. Uh, no run. Well, no, I take that back. Yeah, they did. Yeah, one, they two, did. three in that inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. And with that, we will hear a word from one of our great sponsors, Landmark Realty. We have Mr. Kevin Jackson in the booth with us right here tonight. I'm, he's throwing his hands up in the air saying thank you. But it's a long one, so let me get. Hey there, this is Kevin Jackson with Landmark Realty, your hometown friends in real estate. Are you looking to purchase your first home or maybe just your move up home? Or maybe you're looking to even sell a home. Well, we've got you covered. Our dedicated team is here to make your real estate journey smooth and stress free. From charming starter homes to move up homes or even selling your home, we have it all. And here's the kicker. If you scan the barcode now, you'll get our exclusive buyer profile system absolutely free. Your dream home is just one click away. Landmark Realty, where dreams become home. All right, that commercial lasted the entire time the pitcher warmed up. It was one of our longer ones. Uh, but, boy, it's one of our good ones, too. He, he does a good job. Well, according to Kosciuszko's Game Changer, I'm looking on their Game Changer, their pitchers pitched two innings so far, one hit, one strikeout on 30 pitches. Yeah. Pretty efficient. Okay. Yeah, he is. I'd, I'd say so. This is going to bring up Elliot Lloyd, the catcher for Bio Academy number 11. Braxton Smith in his third inning of work. These boys, uh, that's a foul ball there, but I tell you what, it may just kick right back out there after it hits that halo. <laughs> Uh, funny thing you say that. We were watching the Cleveland Central Kosciuszko game earlier, and a, a kid, was it a, I think it was a bunt. He actually bunted it down the first base line. It bounced in fair, tor to fair territory and then hit the halo here at Grenada, and it bounced back fair. So that is a fair ball. Yeah, it is a fair ball for sure if it, if it bounces back in there. A bad pitch there by Braxton Smith. Got a 1-1 one, one count. And he got in on his hands there. Hit the ball third baseman. Better hurry that throw. He's not going to get him. Oh, the hustle me. by number 11. From yeah. Uh, yeah, that, and that's, hey, that's the catcher. Did you have that kind of speed? Uh, no, I didn't have that kind of speed. <laughs> I was not blessed with that kind of speed. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give him a hit on that. Actually, he just beat that out. I gotta give the catcher an infield hit when you can do it. We're gonna give it to him. I didn't have that kind of speed either, Matt. I had what they call catcher speed. They always used uh, to tell me it's like a refrigerator was following me running down the first base line. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of stolen bases. <laughs> I got a lot of courtesy runners though. Well, that's that's what I had. A lot of courtesy runners. Yep. I like Bo's got a courtesy runner in for their catcher. Square around the bunt here. 
Oh, he popped it up. Oh, good, oh, play, good play by the third baseman. He makes it up for the for not getting the throw over to first base. What a great throw. I mean, a great play there. That was Chase Chacon up. Uh, didn't even get his name out before he bunted. Uh, but uh, bunted it straight up into foul territory. Holden McGee comes in and makes a great play there for Kosciuszko. So it's one out. I'm all over the place with my one book. One out, run at first for Bo. Up there. All right, so one out. Oh, he drilled that, had a hit and run on that. Right fielder gets it in. That was a very good call. I think that's Coach D. Haynes down there coaching third. That was a very good call on the hit and run. Put him in motion, and then a base hit out to right field by Reed Hallman. That was a good job right there. Great execution. Yes, it was. So we got now, we got runners on. First, I'm runners first on the corner. Third here. Got something cooking for Bo. The pitchers have just really been throwing lots and lots of strikes. I don't think we have a walk yet. We don't have a walk yet. I'm looking at my book. No, we do not, not have Not one walk. single walk in the third inning of play here, top top half of the third. I wonder what Kosciuszko's got cooking on first and third situation. Hunter takes off. He's Throws throwing all the way, and he did not get him. Boy, it was closer than I thought it was going to be. Stolen base, and, hey, with that, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you, Matt Housel. Stolen base sponsor is? Wade Incorporated. Remember, nothing runs like a deer. Man, you like Wade, don't you? I like Wade Incorporated. I like John Deere tractors. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hope you're listening, Mr. Paul Black. you got to get Paul to say it. I know he says some orange ones, but Ooh. Paul's got to say it. Trying. Here's the pitch by Smith. Oh, good pitch right there. Ball outside corner. That was a really nice pitch right there by Braxton Smith. The catcher worked it back in that strike zone for him, too. He did. He did a good job. He catcher. makes his pitcher look really good <laughs> working for him. Well, that's what we do, right? That's, that's what right. catchers do. Got to make sure these pitchers look good. Here's the pitch. Oh, oh good snap play. throw. Boy, that was close. Ah, this catcher's all – man, I tell you what, he's playing a heck of a ball game. It's queuing. I'm, he's whipping it around the diamond. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. That ball I love might be on the inside, Matt. He might have had a really shot. That ball was on the outside part of the play. Yeah, had to come all the way back around. Great job there. This, uh, this is Carson Allen at the plate. I didn't announce his name. I apologize for that. For Bio Academy, Carson Allen, he calls timeout and backs out of the – out of the box there. Got a 2-1 count. Runners at second and third. One out for Bo. Yeah, it's a good situation for them. Foul ball by Carson Allen. Back to the backstop. 2-2 two -two count now. Carson Allen playing right field tonight. He, uh, he's got a good situation right here if he can put this ball in play. Bo pick up their first run. Ground ball past the pitcher here probably scores a run. Yeah, right side scores. Here we go. And he went right. Foul ball there. He's battling. Yep. Ball was out. That catcher did a really good job working that ball back to the middle. You think it was a strike? It, it ball was out, but it, he he he's trying to get that strike. Yeah, he's three doing. two count right here, one out. He's working hard. I know that he's a, he's a, doing a great job behind the plate tonight. Here's a pitch by Smith. Oh, hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. Yep, and uh, Mr. Allen's not real happy about that. I can tell you right now. That uh, Braxton did not mean to hit him in the head. I think in today's term, they would call that a quality at bat. 
Full count. Yeah. He got on base. Found a way. Yeah, he. I'd call that a quality at bat for sure. Got one out. Runner bases are loaded. Probably corners in, middle back here. He's still a ground ball away from turning two, allowing no runs. Yeah, I don't know how you felt about this situation when you played, but there was something about bases loaded that made me comfortable. I don't know why. I just knew there was an out somewhere to get, and especially if you hit it back to the pitcher, we were in good shape. It's a good pitch right there by Brandon really Smith. Whew. And, I mean, that takes guts to throw that pitch with bases loaded. <laughs> Having trust in the man behind the plate. Uh, no doubt. This is uh, shortstop Bo Linkus up. He lined out the right field last time. He really smoked it, so he can hit. He is your third hitter. Three-hole guy. Here's the pitch. Yeah, I, I tell you what, man, he may see all curveballs right here. All right, Matt, we got 0-2 count. Yep. On your number, th your three-hole hitter. He's thrown in two off speeds. What do you think we're going to get here? Well, I am probably going to bury one in the dirt, one more, and see if he'll go for it. If not, I'm going to throw one in his eyes for the next one. But he uh, he's a pretty good hitter, so I'm scared to throw a fastball here. But he did, and he just missed it. And, I mean, he missed, it was not a strike. Good call by Randy Gray. But I'm telling you, the catcher made that thing look really nice. Yep. I think we both know what's coming now. Yep. If you don't see number two, I'll be surprised. Here's a pitch. There it was. Fly ball high in the right field. Right fielder under it. He makes the catch. That's going to score a run for Bio Academy. That's what you want your three-hole hitter to do, man. No doubt about it. I mean, no got down two it. strikes. Hit a deep fly ball to right center on a sacrifice fly, scoring the first run of the game. Yep. Allowing the runner at second to tag up and put some back in the first and third situation with two outs. Number four hitter up. That's right. That was a good piece of hitting right there um, by uh, Bo Linkus. Great job. Give him the old sack on that. But there is two outs now. This brings up Brazier Cox, the pitcher. Again, big big kid. He has done well on the mound for Bio Academy tonight. Here's a pitch by Braxton Smith. Right in there. I love these two pitchers throwing strikes, Matt. It makes it for a fun game to watch. I appreciate them very much. <laughs> and as a catcher, you know they appreciate it. Oh, yeah. A one count. Pick it first. Talking about Mr. Cox, the one in batting. He's pitched two innings tonight, one hit, one strikeout, thrown 24 pitches, 18 strikes. 24 pitches, 18 strikes, man. That's, that's pretty efficient. That is very efficient. I'm not going to try to run the numbers on that, but that's really good. Here's the pitch. Oh, foul ball. He hit it where it's pitched. Yeah, he did. Fouled it off. 0-2. Yeah, he's going to have to battle right here. He's got two outs, and he's still got runners in scoring position here. So, you know he doesn't want to go down. We put him in motion here? Imagine I am, that for a guy on first base. Uh, you got 0-2 count. He looks like, looks like right he's got that. some wheels here. Oh, yeah. He yeah, he put it inside. Hit by pitch. Man. I know Braxton would like to have that one back. I can guarantee you. He's getting him a courtesy of honor. Yeah. Do we have no number three is for Bo? Uh, I do not. I don't have the whole roster. Number three for Bo Academy? Who is that? <laughs> Uh-oh, we're passing the list down. Uh, it must be a hard one to pronounce. Aiden Borganelli. Aiden Borganelli, number three. He's a uh, courtesy runner there for pitcher Mr. Cox. Here's the pitch. That ball, ooh, don't get in fair territory. <laughs> That's right. That ball fouled off to the left side there. Holden McGee 
fields it, but is it number four, Mr. Neal, Jason Neal? Or is it Jason Neal, yeah, Jason second Neal baseman. For now. <clears throat> yeah. He's hitting yeah. with one strike, bases loaded, two outs. Yeah, so I think I've, the way I see it, we got Reed Holman on third, Carson Allen on second, and Brazier Cox on first, or Mr. What did I say his name was? I forgot. Burganelli? I think that's right. We'll call him Burganelli. Fastball inside. Takes it for a ball. I gave the sheet back to Kevin Jackson. Borganelli. Okay. So, a little bit of trouble here for Braxton. Uh, he's done well all night. Lots of strikes. Um, he's had a couple of hits. You know, he's hit a couple of people at this point. That's a good-looking so. breaking ball there. He swung through it. Yeah, he's got a two-strike count on him here from Jason Neal. So, um, no, he'd like to have those hit-by-pitch back. <laughs> One-two count, two outs, bases loaded for Bo. Top of third, one in. Pitch. Oh, that's a pitch there. Curveball broke. Fold it left, off. Left it up a little bit. Probably wants to get that ball down a little bit there. Don't leave it hanging. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Borgianelli. I'm going to go with Borganelli. If somebody knows and can correct me, please do so. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, tough play. Be a tough one here. That's going to be a hard play to make. Yep. That's Everybody going to be safe. It's probably your only play there. Yep. To eat it and just throw another pitch because yep. you throw it away at first, you're definitely going to score two, possibly three runs there. Yeah, we're going to give him a hit there on that. Um, infield hit. Yeah, scores infield another hit. run for Bo. Only yeah. play you got right there really is the third base, and he was already there. So the third baseman was going for that ball. This he asked that, yeah, exactly. He they both broke, and so no opportunity there. This brings up J.R. Isler. He uh, he got a base hit out the left field last time up. Here's a pitch. And he another, grounds another line. weak ground ball at third base. Holding McGee up makes the play, and he does get him there at first base. So. Top half of the third, brought to you by Mr. House was going to let me do it, Holmes Community College. Appreciate Holmes and uh, all that they do for Grenada Charger Baseball. For all your education needs, go see Holmes Community College. Higher education needs, go see Holmes Community College. Give me a call if you have any questions. Certainly, if you're in the Grenada area, go by the campus there here in Grenada and, and see Dr. Michelle Burney and all the staff there at at campus and I can tell you they can help you out for sure and get you registered for classes so go by and see all those fine folks there on campus here all right Matt that uh that two nothing bio academy scores a few here and so uh, Kosciuszko's up and uh see what they can do with that we're gonna take a break and we're gonna hear another word from Grenada State Bank <laughs> There are times in life when we find ourselves in need, when we call upon the help of our closest friends and family. As your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I'm from right here in Grenada, Mississippi, and I'm here to help you and your family. I'm Robert Carolla. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. Go Chargers!
All right, we're back with the Matt and Matt Show, where the Bio Academy Colts lead two to nothing over the Kosciuszko Whippets in the bottom half of the third inning. Look like Kosciuszko's got eight, nine, and one coming up. Is that correct, Matt? That's right. Aiden Howard, Braden Rigby, and back up to the top with Andrew Mansell. That's a good breaking ball to start off Aiden Howard. Another lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup we have here. Well, Scott's has been really efficient tonight, Matt. That's his yeah. 26th pitch of the night. How many strikes? They're showing 19 on I, game changer. I believe that. I sure do. I just got a text message from my wife. Mr. Housel says that Bio Academy's live stream guy is a little more lively than me and you. and We need to pick up the pace. But here, that's what I'm going to tell her, and I'm going to tell you the same thing. He can be as lively as he wants, but with all this wealth of knowledge we got up here, you just can't can't beat it. That's a high fly ball to right. Yeah, Scott out there, man, that thing's deep. Right fielder comes up with it. So Aiden Howard flies out to the right fielder for out number one. You gonna agree with me on that wealth of knowledge? I thing? agree with you one hundred percent. Okay, I was just waiting on an amen on that. A lot of sweat and. Blood went to get that wealth of knowledge. Absolutely. A lot of long practices. Kevin Jackson, preacher over here, I think he said amen <laughs> loudly. <laughs> he said hallelujah. And hallelujah. That brings up uh, Braden Rigby. Shortstop for Kosciuszko. Yeah, Braden's had some tough plays out there in the hole today. Uh, he's made them just – he almost got hit there. I, w um, I would tell you this, Matt, this summer Braden, like I said, I coached him earlier. I think he got hit – about four tournaments we played this summer. I think he got hit about 15 times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is Braden the one that was a Searle for a little while? Yes. Yeah, he had a, the bar at Paxton. So, he's, he's he's one of my kids then. So yeah. Let's go, Braden. Hit one out. <laughs> you really wanted to if he still got the BPA <laughs> jersey on with Searle on the back. That's right, man. Did you get to claim on your taxes? I, I don't know if Braden's parents <laughs> would allow me to do that, but I may give that a shot. Uh, this year. Mr. Cox still very efficient here. Here's his pitch right down the middle. 1-1 one, one count. Yep. He's 30 pitches in, 20 strikes, Matt. That's pretty efficient. I'm telling you, he, uh, he looks really good. I'm not kidding you. He looks good. Here's the pitch. Uh, that's another strike swinging there by Braden. Got a 2-2 count. Yeah, Kosciuszko needs to get something going here. They got to get a base runner. You don't want to go down here with nobody. You don't go three up, three down here. Here's the pitch. Gets good in there. Breaking so ball there. Strike. Yeah, good pitch there. No doubt about it. That's out number two. For Kosciuszko, it's going to bring up the left fielder, number 13, Andrew Mansell. Was, what did Andrew do his first at bat, Matt? He grounded out to the third baseman in his first at bat, but he did square around a bunt in one of those, one of those, you know, two outs. I'm not sure we'll do that here. Lead off guy, you got to assume he can probably put it in play, and he's got to have some wheels. I know one thing; it probably won't take him five steps, and he'll be at first base. Yeah, he's got some. He's one of the tallest lead off guys I think I've ever seen. Like he's got his cell phone in his back pocket. <laughs> I I think that's a fashion statement that some of these kids make these days. I, probably if he hits a double, get out there on second and dial somebody up. Snapchat, Snapchat somebody. Here's the pitch. Breaking yeah, ball. Ball's in play there by play for the shortstop. He is going to be safe, and uh, he says he was off the bag, but uh, it doesn't matter because uh, Mr. Mansell was there in three steps. I think so. he, he was been there anyway. I think the shortstop yeah. caught it clean, but he went to throw it and he kind of oh, bobbled yeah. it there, Matt. Yeah, um, he's getting a base hit on that for sure. That was a – that was a. I mean, the kid's got – he's got wheels. There's a reason why he's batting the leadoff spot. That brings up number 22 for Kosciuszko, yeah. Holden McGee. Holden McGee. McGee, he's playing third base tonight. Uh, Holden flew out to the right fielder in his last at bat. Here's the pitch. 
Ground ball. Ground ball, third base. That guy has made several good plays tonight. He makes another one is Mr. Isler. He's pretty solid down there. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, Matt, that bottom of the third is brought to you by Horan and Horan Law. All right. Give them a call, guys a call if you need anything. Need law related. A, law related. If you need an attorney, uh, give them a call. They'll be more than more than happy to uh, to help you with all your legal needs. We appreciate them and their sponsorship of Grenada Charger Baseball. Uh, Matt, with that, we'll take a break, and we'll hear a word from Winona Tractor and Equipment. Well, hello, folks. I'm Robbie. And I'm Paul. And we're here at Winona Tractor and Equipment. Well, guys, with spring approaching, we have golf coming up and ball tournaments coming up. These guys can enjoy every bit of that. Yeah. Every bit of it, knowing that their wife is home comfortably mowing on a Kubota Zero turn. Right here, baby. If you really love her uh, and you want to make it easy on her, after yeah. she's been mowing all day comfortably yeah. on a Kubota Zero turn, yeah. get on any of our Kubota RTVs and haul the weed eater and gas down there to her so she ain't got to walk to get it. Paul, that is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Kubota offers 0% financing on all models. We can get that payment just right for you where you'll have enough money left over at the end of the week to take her out for all her hard work. Well, folks, when you think about a tractor for your wife, remember, think why on a tractor and equipment. All right, Matt, we're back, and uh, I know you'll, uh, you'll get a John Deere for your wife, but uh, at the end of the day, if any of you guys need a tractor or a lawnmower for your wife, go see Paul Black at Winona Tractor and Equipment. Good friend of ours. Well, you, you, you have a choice. It's like buying a Ford or a Chevrolet. <laughs> you can do. You can go buy you a green one. You can go buy you an orange one. Yep. Yep. I just, I'm a little more partial to the green ones. I hear you. Mr. Paul Black, former uh, partner of mine in the booth, uh, called in a game for us over a pillow. One night, Braxton Smith back out for another inning of work. He very quickly throws a strike, and it's a good one. I think Paul Black is the only person I've ever heard mention the word elegant in the baseball game. He uses the word elegant a pretty good bit. He likes that word. He goes to the dictionary whenever he decides he wants to call a game. I think I was texting you guys. Uh, he said he Googled that before the game. That's a uh, – Ball high, it's a one-one count. Yeah, high and outside there to uh, Ryan Mallett. Braxton Smith still working pretty efficiently, even with the two hit batters in the last inning. He's still throwing strikes out there. I expect uh, Mr. Mallett's probably a little irritated with himself for not taking that one right off the old rear end. What do you say? I, I will agree. He still gives them two-one count on that ball inside there, Matt. Here's the pitch by Smith. Swing and miss there. I flipped the cameras on that one. I thought he was going to hit it, so I just went <laughs> ahead and flipped it. <laughs> oh, that was a good pitch. Nice, hefty cut by Mr. Mallet. Got a 2-2 count here. Here's the pitch. Oh, no ball straight back. Hit you in the face, Matt Hauser. I didn't flinch, so I think Chip would have flinched. He'd jump back and hit the wall back here. Yeah, he would have, but <laughs> you ain't flinching. We we wear masks when we That's play right. baseball. We ain't scared. 2-2 two, two count here on Ryan Mallett. Braxton Smith stands tall on the mound, gets his sign, and delivers. Here's the pitch. That one is skied way out of play. That's going to hit a car out there if somebody's parked out there. Matt, who, who's our foul also? We're going to say that foul ball is sponsored by Grenada Star. Grenada Star Paper, man. We appreciate them and all their uh, good work that they do. And, boy, they support this program and our kids. And they always have good articles in the paper for our, for our uh, teams in Grenada. We certainly appreciate them. There's another one, Matt Housel. Way that, out of play. That foul ball sponsor is High Cotton Catering. High Cotton Catering. If you need anything by anything catered, give Trip James a call. Yeah, I don't know that I've had their food yet, but I hear it is fantastic. It is fantastic. That's what I've heard. Maybe they'll cater us up here one day, bring us something to eat in the in the booth. That's Here's right. the pitch. Oh, look at that breaking ball. Woo. 
Ooh, Braxton Smith broke that one off. Boy, that was nasty right there. Catcher got fired up on that one. I don't blame him. I would have too. Good pitch. Oh, backwards K there. That brings up number 11, Matt. Yeah. Elliot Lloyd for Bo with one out. In the yeah, I believe uh, he got an infield hit last time. This is the catcher that had pretty good wheels. Uh, he hit it into the hole there at shortstop. Rigby couldn't come up with a throw just because it was too deep. Here's the pitch. Good fastball there. Yeah, Braxton Smith continues to work, throwing strikes. It's a great job. Matt, according to Game Changer, that is the 60th pitch, 35 strikes. Okay, well, he's thrown a few more balls since the first half, but he's still efficient. Here's the pitch. Another strike there. Miss there. Yeah. Got an 0-2 count on Elliott Lloyd, the catcher for Bio Academy. Got one out, nobody on. With him being the catcher, he knows these options here, Matt, with an 0-2 count. He knows what he's facing. He knows they're probably not going to come at him with a fastball right down the middle, I can tell you that. No. But he's he's choked up, and he's up tight on the plate, spread out. He's just trying to put it in play right here. Here's the pitch. Oh, Ooh, another good breaking ball there, Matt. Yeah, he took that one. That was a nasty curveball. Braxton Smith, he's got all his pitches working tonight. Catcher Lloyd tried to kind of stick the elbow out there in hopes that he might, might get something. But uh, that ball just kind of cut under his arm. That was a great pitch. Good job. That's two backwards K's, isn't it? It is. That's, and I'm going to be honest with you, that's what the doctor ordered for uh, for Braxton. Here's a pitch right down the middle, strike one. Boy, I tell you what, he's battling. He is. He come out there this inning, he is pounding that strike zone. Yeah, this is Chase, uh, or Case, I'm sorry, Case Chacon, the center fielder. He popped out uh, to the third baseman. Another good-looking fastball there. Another strike, I assume. I wasn't yep. looking. No two count now. So, so Braxton Smith has come out, and he's just saying, you know what, I'm going to throw as hard as I can, and I'm going to break some off, and you guys going to have to put it in play. We're not going to let you score another one. Here's a wind up in the pitch. A little nubber out to Braxton Smith, who ranges over, underhands it over to the first baseman for the third out of the inning. So no runs, no hits. Two strikeouts. No errors and two strikeouts looking for Braxton Smith. That was a good inning for him. Well, Matt, that top of the inning was sponsored by Landmark Realty. Give right. Mr. Kevin Jackson a call for any of your uh, – home needs. Matter of fact, call him right now. Yeah, let's call him right call now. Him. Do we need he said he has his phone ready to take a call. Let's uh, let's <laughs> let's give out his cell phone number right here over there and everybody everybody text him and tell him hello and and uh, how much we appreciate him. <laughs> He's calling. We'll do. That's not your phone number. <laughs> that is not your phone number. Anyway, we're going to take a time out and go to a break before my cell phone number gets called out. <laughs> times in life we find ourselves in need we call upon the help of our closest friends and family as your local farm bureau insurance agent i want to be on that list i'm from right here in grenada and i'm here to help you and your family during your time of need my name is matt mccroy give me a call today at 662-418-5897 for a quick auto home or life insurance quote and to find out more about how we at farm bureau insurance can help save you time and money go chargers all right, Matt, we're back. Live action here at Georgia Field where Kosciuszko Whippets are taking on the Bio Academy Colts. Colts leading two to nothing in the bottom half of the fourth. Yeah, we need to we need to change that inning on our scoreboard. Mr. Shannon, if you don't mind, bottom half of the fifth instead of the third. I was like, man, 
I thought we had gone way further than the third inning. Are you kidding me right now? The southpaw for uh, Bo is still being very effective. 36 pitches, 26 strikes. Starts him off with a breaking ball that missed. This is going to bring up Benny Powell, the center fielder for Kosciuszko. As you said, starts him out with a with a ball. Left-hander is really working. Both pitchers are doing a good job tonight. I'm serious. Here's the pitch. Ooh, that good was pitch. fairly nasty right there. I don't suspect he was looking for that. I don't know if that was a – I wasn't looking at it good. Was that a curveball? It's curveball. Swing and a miss. Good pitch. Coming right back at him here. Look like another curveball or something. Look like a curveball, maybe a changeup, man. Maybe, maybe so. It's something. It wasn't his fastball. I know that. It's a good pitch. It's one-two count now on Benny Powell, who did get a base hit out to left field last time up. He he smoked one. Here's the pitch, and he smokes another smokes one right another one. past the third baseman. And I'm gonna tell you something. That kid's pretty good down there, so to get one by him is pretty tough. Benny Powell. Comes up with a base hit for Kosciuszko. He uh, swings the bat mighty well. He does. The reason why he bats in the third hole. Great job there by. As Matt, you, you know it just as well as I do. They call the third base the hot corner, and that one had a little. Yeah, it had some smoke to it. Had some smoke coming to it. Yep. Let's bring up catcher Barrett Kewen. He, uh, let's see, I don't remember what, I don't have what he did last time. I didn't write it down. I apologize for that. Swing and miss there. He was swinging for the fence on that one. A Mighty cut. We're going to get another opportunity to show the weight incorporated stolen base here with Mr. Powell over there, you think? It's a good chance. He, uh, pretty swifty. Let's see what we got. Showing a little bun action. There he goes. Pulls back. He is going to be safe with no problem, Matt Housel. That is our weight incorporated stolen base. Remember, nothing runs like a deer. That's right. Nothing runs like a deer. This is weight incorporated any of their 14 locations. There you go. Got one right here in Grenada. If you so choose, go by and see Matt Housel sometime. He's out there. Too, so, or give him a call on his cell phone. Kevin, you got it? <laughs> yeah. Well, that ain't mine either, so you just you just blew that. So. Good try. Good try by Kevin Jackson. I hear a goat. It sounds like a goat. <laughs> uh, no outs runner at second, bottom of the fourth for Bo. That's Q and Showing square in here. I mean for Kosciuszko. He's about out of the box. He pulled, he pulled, he pulled, pulled the bat back. Ball two. Ball two there. Uh, yeah. Like we got an appeal here. He's, uh, Randy appealed to the umpire in the field saying that he did not bring the bat back on that bun attempt. Well, I disagree. Uh, so, because he did pull it back. Now, look like now we're going to have a conversation oh, with yeah. Kosciuszko's third base coach. Yeah, he's. He did pull it back. He did pull it back. I, I, would, I would agree here with Kosciuszko's coach. And I. Well, Matt, it looked like to me he was pulling it back as he was trying to get out of the way of the ball. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, Matt, you don't oftentimes see the field umpire get appealed on that right there. Generally, your home plate umpire is going to make that call, and, and that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, you're did right. Did the catcher ask for an appeal? I missed I, it. I think the, the pitcher asked, got, asked Randy for to give that okay. appeal. Well, Randy doesn't have to give it to him, but he does. Uh but that's really Randy's call on that, I would say. I, again, I've never seen an infield umpire make that call. Kind of hard to see if he can pull back. You know, it's kind of hard for him to see a batter pull back. Uh, but as it is, uh, it is now a 1-2 count instead of a 2-1 count on uh, Barrett Kewen. So now he's going to have to battle right here. 
Nobody out. Runner on second in the form of Benny Powell. Kewen digs in. He's all over the plate. I don't blame him. I would be too. Here's a pitch. Wow. Yeah, and Q is not happy about that, and I, I guess I can understand why, but that is a backwards K taken for a strikeout. That was an excellent backdoor breaking ball. It really was. It was a good pitch. It's kind of hard to argue that, not to mention he was all over the plate, so with that being said, he should have been able to make contact with that ball, but, but he didn't. So this brings up the pitcher, Braxton Smith, number one, who has pitched a gem of a game. He and Mr. Cox both. Here's the pitch. Yeah, nice block there by the catcher, Mr. Lloyd. Looked like we might have got crossed up there, Matt, by the catcher's, catcher's reaction. Yeah, and he's going right out there, <laughs> popped right out there, and he's like, look, dude, I don't know what you were seeing, but that is not what I called. But he's probably got a different sign on with uh, Powell down at second. He's probably not got his same sign. So There's no scary feeling, Matt, when you're catching <laughs> Especially the higher level you go, when those yeah. guys can really pump the velo and you get crossed up back there, you kind of yeah. feel helpless. You don't want to be expecting <laughs> a curveball and see a 95-mile-an-hour fastball coming at you, that's that for sure. Probably can make your heart skip a beat if it hits you in the chest. Here's a pitch. That's a nice curveball on Braxton Smith, so it's a 1-1 count. And Powell's out there dancing around on second. What do you think the chances are he steals? He's probably a good walking huh? lead. They got short and second. Two to nothing. You get the top half of your order or your middle of your order up. Probably not going here. I tell you what, he sure has a good lead, though. 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch. He got a pretty good secondary. I don't think he's going two to nothing. They got to try to get a run right here, try to let Braxton Smith get him across. Two one count on Braxton Smith. <laughs> He's talking about you. Two one count on Braxton Smith. Powell gets a good sizable lead out there. Here's the pitch. Another breaking All ball out. Side. Yeah, three one count. Matt, I almost think this is uh, Bio's first three-ball count of the game. I, I think you're right. I, well, I know you're right because I'm looking at my book and I don't, I don't see another three-ball count. Mr. Cox has really looked good on the hill tonight. Here's the pitch. That is a smoked ball by Braxton Smith. He was looking for. They're waving him around. Oh, they're gonna hold him up. That was a good, cho good choice because he was gonna be out. <laughs> Woo! Braxton Smith smoked that ball, Matt. He probably had to freeze a little bit just to, just to make sure nobody he caught did. that ball. Yes, yes. You know, they teach you to freeze on the line in baseball. And, um, he, he hit probably that done ball the right hard. thing there. Yeah, that was a good choice. You've got uh, your right fielder coming up, John Wyatt Roscoe. Um, he grounded out to the pitcher in his last, last at bat. Matter uh, ground ball here, probably could turn two and get out of this inning. No runs. Yeah. Probably so. Probably going to put him in, in motion right here, though. Try to hit try to hit and run, see if he can't pull Looks like they the got right a courtesy side. runner. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah. That's, he, that was a pitcher, Braxton Smith. He jumped out there pretty quick, but he took a step back. Well, you do have the left-hander on the hill, so you're not going to be able to get as big a lead as you typically would over there. If you're going to go, probably need to go on first move. We'll see here shortly. If he takes a step back to first, that means he's had a one-way lead. Yeah. But I'm like you. I think they'll put him in motion with the next two pitches. Maybe the first one. One out. Here's the pitch. Trying to lean over and trying to get that ball off the elbow. They're trying their best to get hit, ain't they? Yep. That was a good breaking ball. Now, if he leans across there – and gets hit, they're going to call that a strike. He's got to make an attempt to get, get out, out of the way. way. And the attempt to get out of the way is turning your shoulder. It's not sticking your arm Elbow out. Elbow into the strike zone. 
Run at first is leaning a little bit here, Matt. He sure on is. So one count. Very good observance on your part. And there he goes. He is gone, and there is no throw, no attempt to throw, no nothing there. That's kind of strange. He bunted at it. Yeah, that ball on the outside part of the plate. Did he? Did he call it a strike? No, he called. He, he bunted at it, but he pulled it back. That's a one-one count here. No, it's a four-two count. <laughs> Mr. Shannon Patton's over here. He he, <laughs> he might have felt a little sleep he, <clears throat> on us on the scoreboard, but we got a 1-1 one, one count, one he's, out. He got it right on the live stream. Here's the pitch. That ball grounded to the left side. Going to stay fair. Oh, no. Uh, boy, I tell you what, great play there by the third baseman, Mr. Isler. Uh, he had to kind of come in, make that play, look the guy back to third. There was no way he could advance to home and score. And, man, they got two outs for Kosciuszko now. That's tough. Boy, yep. that was a big play. Man, it was. Right there. It sure was. Big league play. Not allowing that run. Yep. And with two outs now, that brings up Ryan Tillman, the second baseman. There's the pitch. That's going to be strike yeah, one. He went he at it. Got him on the swing, he said. So, Matt, I didn't know your dad was a big Cubs fan. I think I – might possibly have offended him last night when I talked about the Cubs, but I'm a big Braves fan, so you know, uh, nothing against the Cubs, but just just a big Braves fan. He I is, do like Wrigley Field now. He is a big Cubs fan. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, been to Wrigley Field. Uh, fantastic place. You can just kind of feel the ghost like you could at Yankee Stadium, which I never got to go to, unfortunately. Uh, he, but, uh, him one time, Matt. Him and my sister actually had season tickets to Cubs. That's awesome. Ooh. That was a outside pitch that he called for strike two. Mr. Randy's probably going to get some hoots and hollers from the Kosciuszko fans on that one. Ryan Tillman, though, he's down 0-2. He's got to put this ball in play. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Cox has been very efficient. Mr. Housel, I apologize for uh, offending you on the Cubs. I'm not totally against them. Greg Maddox did pitch for the Cubs. That ball gets by the uh -oh. catcher. Play, play. And Mr. Powell is going to score. That was a – and they're going to get him over there at third. Yep. Got him at third on the throw over there. That was kind of a mistake there. I tell you what, that was kind of a wild play. The catcher slips down out here on the halo, still gets the ball over to the pitcher, doesn't get the out at home plate. But as the ball trickles by him, someone's backing him up. Great job on, I don't know if that was the first baseman, first baseman or what. Matt. And then he throws him out at third. Great job there by that Bio is, Academy. That is excellent coaching by Bo. Yeah. Him knowing the first baseman has to come behind in case yep. of that overthrow. In that situation, it paid off big time of getting him out of that inning. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good job. Benny Powell does score the first run of the night for Kosciuszko, though. And uh, that bring, makes the score 2-1 to one, uh, with Bio still leading in the – going into the bottom half of the fifth, right? Is that right? Top half of the Top fifth. Top half of the fifth, I'm sorry. Matt, that, that bottom of the fourth inning was sponsored by No Way Jose. No Way Jose. Hey, I think me and you had dinner there last night. Was it last we had night? It, two, uh, nights. two nights ago. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Uh, go have had some cheese dip and uh, some – you well, had a burger. I had a burger at the Mexican I, place. It, it is really good there. It is good. I, I That bread looked fantastic. But I had the shrimp quesadilla, and I can promise you that it was good. So, anyway, go see the guys at No Way Jose. We'll take a time out and hear another word from one of our sponsors. For over 20 years, Oil Man Supply has proudly served the Grenada community and the South with its lubricants and automotive supplies. We provide services for all your agricultural, commercial, industrial and residential needs. We pride ourselves in customer service and delivery. For more information on how we can help you, call Rick Palmer at 662-417-1586 or come visit our warehouse at 31 Tuscoma Street in Hawkeye. Go Chargers! Matt, that brings, us, brings up number 12 for bio, left-handed hitter. Let's see. Let me find him on my roster. Number 12, he's a leadoff guy, Reed Holloman, center fielder, left fielder, sorry. He uh, has, he flew out to the left fielder in the first inning, and in the third inning, he got a screaming base hit out to right field. So he 
He pulled one hard into right field, and that may have been a runner on base when he did. Swing and bunt here, Matt, back to the pitcher. Got the out at first. Yeah. Got Braxton Smith. He is uh, back out for another another inning. Now batting number 15, Carson Allen. That's going to be a ground out to number one for the first out of the inning. And this is going to bring up Carson Allen, number 15. He's right fielder tonight. Carson has struck out looking, and he was hit by a pitch. Moved all the way around to third. So he's the number two hitter. Here's the pitch by Braxton Smith. Ooh, he almost hit his bat. He didn't get that bat down. He just about tipped it. And so Harry, uh, they would say on uh, – Major League, just, just a bit outside. outside. Yeah, that's actually just a bit behind the batter. Harry Doyle. <laughs> We're just going to leave it there. We're not going to say anything else Harry Doyle says. Nope. Boy, that is hit a mile high. Is that even in play? No. I, I tell you what, it was just out of play. Catcher couldn't find it. He ended up putting the catcher's mitt over his head in the case. That he was going to get hit. What, you got a foul ball sponsor for us? That foul ball is sponsored by KAJCP Parts and Supply. All right. KAJC Parts. We appreciate them, their sponsorship of Grenada Charger Baseball. Go see them for any parts and supply needs you may have. That is uh, now a 1 1 count on Carson Allen. Braxton Smith continuing to deal for Kosciuszko. Pretty good game here, 2-1 ball game in the uh, top half of the fifth inning here. Ball outside is called for strike two. Okay. Got a battle here, does Mr. Carson Allen. One-two count. My wife says that by those guys out-talking us. Thank you, Jennifer. We appreciate that. We still think we uh, – Bring a wealth of knowledge to the game here. Here's the pitch. Down in the dirt. Nice block by the catcher. Yep. If I do say so myself, he rounded that off really nicely, dropped it right there on top of home plate, and that's where you want your catcher to put it. That is exactly right. Put that ball back to home plate. Got his body still. The ball just died right there on his chest protector. Great job. 2-2 two -two count now on Carson Allen. Braxton Smith still trying to get his pitch. Here he goes. Here's the pitch. Fouled off again. Great at bat here by Carson Allen. This is a QAB. That was uh, Mr. Smith's 73rd pitch of the night. Yeah, I wonder how long they'll let him go. I mean, he's he's doing well. It's the top half of the fifth. Got a couple more innings. I don't know. You're getting late into the game. Yeah, That's kind of chilly tonight. Why not, why not let him stay out there forever? 2-2 two -two count on Carson Allen. He's battling right here. Here's the pitch. And he battles into a, well, I thought it might be a base hit. But uh, right fielder playing a little shallow. Uh, that is going to be a fly out to right field. Man, he did it. I know it's a fly out, but that still was a good piece of hitting. That ball was on the outside part of the plate, and, and you can not answer any more. You just put yeah. the ball in play and gave yourself a chance. As you said earlier, that is a QAB, quality at bat for him because he, def he definitely battled there. That's going to be up, uh, bring up Bo Linkus, the shortstop tonight, number one. He has lined out to the right fielder, and he had a sacrifice fly. Like a strike one on a, uh, a swing. Ball was a little bit high. Actually, that may have been a sack bun. I'm not sure what he did. I can't remember. I didn't write that down. Ooh, Hot tough shot play to there. Yeah. Holden McGee makes a fantastic play. I tell you what, Braxton Smith, short order in that inning right there. He takes care of business and gets them out of it. So, uh, Kosciuszko uh, goes back into the dugout, comes back to hit, and uh, 2-1 lead by Bio Academy, man. Matt, that top half of the fifth was brought to you by Oil Man Supply. Yeah. If you need any oil, give Mr. Rick a call. He will be glad to help you. Yeah, that is uh, 
Eli Palmer's dad. That's exactly right. You'll see him for all your oil supply needs. And so we'll take a timeout. Hear another word from one of our sponsors. A, uh, that was Hank and Lumber, Hankins Lumber Company. We uh, appreciate them and their sponsorship of Grenada Charger Baseball. Mr. Lee Hankins always been a big supporter of Grenada Baseball. And we always appreciate everything he does. Mr. Lee and them sponsor a lot of the sports here at Grenada High School. And we appreciate all they do for Grenada High School. Yeah, you know what? You, you look up, Mr. Lee uh, seems like he's at every sporting event that we have, uh, regardless of whether he's got anybody playing or not, you know, so – we appreciate him. Always enjoy seeing him at the ballpark. So, catcher makes his throw down, and Bio Academy is ready to go. Mr. Cox back out on the mound for another uh, another inning. Well, Matt, I'm looking on Max Preps. Looks like Kaziesco on the year so far is seven and four overall. Okay. Looks like they're two and zero in district play. All right. Wonder who they've played in their district already. That's. That's early. Well, I say that. They're in region. Play. They're 4A region 3 district. They're actually in the same district as my brother-in-law or my nephew's team, Caledonia. Okay. So you got Caledonia, Kosciuszko, Louisville. Uh, that's all I see. I don't know. I'm not sure who they beat. Not sure. I'm sure there's only three teams listed, but I'm sure there's more. Yeah. This will bring up Ryan Tillman, the second baseman tonight. He has, uh, let's see, he flew out to uh, look like right field in his first at bat maybe. May have been actually to the second baseman. Kind of a shallow pop-up there. Mr. Cox quickly throws him a strike. Here's the pitch. Ball low. Ball one. These pitchers have done a really good job tonight. I can't say enough about this. these pitchers. Yep, they have worked. It's a coach's dream when you got a kid who will just throw strikes and not uh, a little high there. Like uh, a breaking ball a little high there, Matt. Yeah. I like love a, it when they'll throw strikes, not beat around the bush. And just go right at people. Let your defense play. 2-1 count here. Bottom of the fifth. That's a good breaking pitch. Yep. Strike two. You know, I don't know if these two guys are the aces on these two teams or not, but if they're not, they've got another couple of guys that are really, really good on these teams. That is correct. I will agree 100%. Here's the windup and the pitch. Another breaking pitch. Boy. Foul ball in the box there. <laughs> I thought it might stay fair. And uh, Mr. Tillman didn't take off, so that could have been interesting. Well, Matt, looking at Max Preps, I don't know if this is right or not, but according to Max Preps, uh, Bio is two and two on the season. Okay, two and two. Look like they played Washington. I don't know who HA is, Clarksdale. Heritage Academy, maybe. I don't know. I'll, look, I'll just click on it. It's Hartfield Academy. Hartfield, Hartfield. That's Hartfield right. Academy. Look like they've lost twice to Hartfield, according to. Max Preps, they beat Washington, and they beat Clarksdale. Yeah, Hartfield is uh, one of those academies out on Lakeland and uh, Flowood, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? I don't have a clue. Yeah, I think you go on <laughs> past Jackson Prep, and it's way on out there on Flowood. Got the really nice facility there, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. That's who that is. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Matt, looks like we got a battle going here at the plate. Yeah, uh, Mr. Tillman is uh, – he's really doing a good job. Mr. Cox continues to fill it up, but Tillman continues to foul it off. And so, uh, something's got to give here in just a minute. It's 2-2 two -two count now. Nobody out, nobody on for Kosciuszko. They would love to have Mr. Tillman on base. Here's the pitch. He drills that one to left field. Left fielder comes in. The ball 
sort of shoots off of him. I actually thought, him, ooh, it's going to be a good play right here. No play at second. I thought it might be. Good good job by the left fielder keeping that ball in front of him because I'm going to be honest with you, I thought it was by him. Yeah, if, it, if it's by him, Matt, that's yep. definitely a triple. No doubt about it. I like the effort. you got to yep. love the effort. Yeah, he did a good job there. That was a good hit, too, by, by Ryan Tillman. That is exactly what they needed. Uh, Lead off double here Kaziesco. for Kosciuszko. Yep. A little situation hitting here. Yeah, what are got, they going to do? Got a left-hander up, and he's pulled the ball here. It's getting the third one out. Uh, yeah, this is Aiden uh, Howard, number 25, first Looked like uh, Bio was running the wheel play there, Matt. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Could kind of tell from the get-go that was what they were about to do. One-zero -oh count. Thought we might see him square around here, try to move this guy over with nobody out. They're not. Aiden Howard, a left-handed first baseman, kind of a big kid. They may be. Just trying to see if he can't get the ball in play to move him over instead of a bunt. That's a 2 0 count right now. It's maybe the most trouble Mr. Cox's been in all night. Definitely. Because not a lot, but but it's he's definitely in some trouble with the runner on second. A little slash play. He smoked that ball high in the right field. Right fielder is under it. He makes the catch. And he throws a missile to third base. Pretty good arm out there in right field. Yep, it was a really good arm. Deep fly ball, got the runner over from second to third, got one out. Brings up your uh, number nine hitter, Braden Rigby. Yeah, but you know, Aiden Howard did what he had to do. He skied one in the right field, gets the guy over to third. Now all we got to do, I say we and Kosciuszko, all they got to do is ground the ball to the right side of the field, and this is a tie ball game. I'd say ground ball pass the pitcher up the middle, definitely a score run. As you know, last inning they hit a ground ball to that third baseman of Bio. He made a really good play to hold that runner. And it actually turned into a ball outside here. To mm, that's the wildest pitch Mr. Cox has thrown all night long. Matt, that was his 64th pitch of the night. It's still not a lot of pitches. I was about to say, is he getting on up there? He may be getting tired, but uh, that's really not a lot of pitches, honestly. Here's the pitch for Rigby. Good pitch. Yeah, he came right back with a breaking pitch or something off speed for sure. Pretty good pitch there. 1-1 one, one count here. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be surprised if Kosciuszko squares the button right here. A little safety squeeze. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't blame him either. I don't know if I see a suicide squeeze. I don't bunt. Yeah, no bunt. This is our number nine hole hitter. Uh, so I, I actually kind of agreeing with you. I kind of thought we might see a safety squeeze here. I'll tell you, Brayden gets it down. He can run. Yeah, he looks like he's got he wheels. Get a good chance of him. He'll he'll beat it out anyway and he's, get the RBI. He's a short squeeze, stop. squeeze, man. There it is. Yeah. That's very good execution there by Brayden Rigby. Well, they're gonna high five him. I can assure you of that coming off coming off the field. Look at him. Yep, they meet him. All right, I'm excited about that. Squeeze. Very well I'll say squeeze, squeeze play. on that. Couldn't have rode it up any better. It's a great job right there by Kosciuszko. Scoring another run. Good squeeze by Braden Rigby. Well, like this brings up the leadoff hitter. Yeah, Andrew number? Mansell, left fielder. He is grounded out, and he has gotten a base hit tonight. And we can see, I think last time he hit Matt, he uh, – Actually beat out a, a ball. I think it was hit the shortstop. He did. I think the shortstop called it clean, but he kind of lost the handle of it, the ball up the middle, and, and it really wasn't even a close play at first. Yeah, and really no play there at all. Uh, like, you, like you said, he's got some long old legs. Let's sure get on down that line. It don't take him long to get there. There's a the pitch. Ball hit him. Ball, ball hit, hit him. him in the foot, I think. All right. Well, that's going to be another base runner there for Kosciuszko. Like we're going to get a, a visit by head coach D. Haynes here. Try to calm his pitcher down. Yeah, this is going to bring up Holden McGee. Uh, Holden has flown out to right field and grounded out to the third baseman, so he's put the ball in play a pretty good bit. 
each time he's been up. D. Haynes out to talk to uh, his pitcher, Mr. Cox. I, don't, I didn't see if Bob, I don't think Bob had anybody warming up in the bullpen. I don't nah, see anybody. I don't yeah. see anybody out there. This is probably not one of those change pitchers innings this, or uh, meetings. It's just one of those, hey, you've done a great job all night. Let's don't walk anybody here. I think so. D was just trying to slow the game down a little bit for him, let him catch his breath and, and hopefully – Make a pitch here and get out of this inning and go back, get back in the dugout and see if they can put some put a run on the board. Yeah. Well, they got hold of McGee up. He's put it in play each time he's been uh, to the plate. Each time it's been an out. Uh, but you now you've got Andrew Mansell on first base. Rashier comes set. Oh, he's got him picked. Here's. The... Wow. Yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That was a close play. It's closer than I thought it was going to be. I thought he had it beat all the way, but he slid a little early and slowed slowed down. So, uh, well, Matt, when I watched it, the first baseman did what he's supposed to do, come meet that baseball. I, yeah. I, I think a little lower throw probably would have got him, no yeah. question. Oh, yeah, definitely. No doubt about it. Had to reach for it. It wasn't a great throw. As it is, that's a, that's a stolen base from Mr. Mansell, and that is a Wade Incorporated stolen base. We appreciate Wade Incorporated for being our stolen base sponsor. Just remember, nothing runs like a deer. There you go. Nothing runs like a deer. Got two outs, runner at second for Kosciuszko. That pitch two outside. balls, no strikes. Yeah, Mr. Cox is kind of losing the handle here a little bit in the uh, bottom half of the fifth inning. Still tie ball game. Nobody hurt. Just got to get out of it. Got two outs. He's sitting in a pretty good spot. There's the pitch. That uh -oh. ball is in right field and it's, it's down. Fair. Yep, down for a hit. That's going to score a run for Kosciuszko. Uh They just did get the run across. The run scored, but they got the out down at second base. So uh, good job there by Holden McGee. Uh, to get that base hit, score that run, brings Kosciuszko uh, now has the lead, 3-2, to two, going into the top half of the six. Matt, who's our half-inning sponsor there? Bottom, we going to uh, the bottom of the fifth is brought to you by Prairie Farms. Prairie Farms. All right. With that, we'll take a timeout and hear another word from one of our sponsors. Like Kosciuszko's running, pitching out there for another inning. You know, send Braxton back out, huh? Well, he's done a good job. That is sky high. That's going to be a tough play. Second baseman settles under it. Great job. Center fielder came in. He was going to try to take that for him if he could get there. Uh, Matt, he, was, he ran a long, long way at sure a high did. rate of speed. No need because <laughs> um, Ryan Tillman made that play, so. That's pretty efficient there. One pitch, yeah. one out. what you dream of. Yeah, that pitcher. was Cox at the plate, the pitcher. So that is a pop out to second base for the first out of the inning. 
Got Jason Neal at the plate, second baseman, number four. He has flown out to the right fielder, and he has a base hit. There's another base hit. He drilled that ball into right center. Center fielder comes over, scoops it up, gets the ball back in. That is a really good hit there by Jason Neal. As you said, Matt, that was an excellent hit. That ball was on the outside part of the plate, and he drove it right back up the middle, just like you're supposed to do. Yeah, he uh, he took what he had and just hit it. It's going to be up the, bring up the third baseman, J.R. Isler. Isler has a base hit. Matt, you think we're going to see a bunt here or uh, take the bat out of number 18's hands? Well, he hit Got the one ball out. pretty good. He's his number six guy. He He's grounded out to the shortstop in the hole, and he's got a base hit on the day. Uh, it's one out. I mean, we might try to get him in scoring position. I want to see what the next guy's done. The next guy's flown out and struck out looking, so I don't know. I think he's swinging. Well, that foul ball is fouled off to the right-hand side. That foul ball is sponsored by Save More Drugs and Gifts. Save More Drugs and Gifts. Go see them right across the street here at Charger Field. Yep, Miss Fair Jones. They're right over there. They can uh, they can get you the prescriptions you need. And there's a steal, and the catcher drops the ball, no throw. They can get you the prescriptions you need and any gifts you might need as well. So go see them at Save More Drugs. Uh, that stolen base, Matt, is brought to you by Wade Incorporated. We appreciate them. And, uh, Matt? Nothing runs like a deer, Matt. That's it. Nothing runs that like deer a deer. keeps running and running tonight. They are running all over the field. One out, runner at second. Matt, we don't need a bunt now. We got the runner no, at second. He's there. He just needs a base hit. Tie this base hit to the right hand side here. Got a big hole over at second base. Yeah, strike. That's a, that a strike. Yep. To me, it looked a little bit out, but that's it ain't where the catcher catches. It's where it crosses the plate, Matt. That's right. One two count with one out. Mr. Isler trying to get a ball in play right here. He has put it in play all night long. He is all over the plate. Yeah, he, his toe, his back foot is he's literally about halfway on that white line. Just a little now. bit more, and he's going to be out of the box. Got time called right here. He even scoots, scoots a little closer. Look at that back foot, Matt. It's almost on. on. <laughs> and I tell you what, he is almost out of the box right here. He's I like trying to hit this, that ball the right side here. I Matt, like this approach. Hole. Just take away the plate. Just take it away. I like we're going to have a high fastball here where that catcher's setting up. Breaking ball. Yeah, broke it. Catcher sort of drops that, but no no problem. He Kewen jumps up and throws him out down at first. That was a good play by the catcher. Looked yeah. like the runner at second gave, kind of gave a little hesitated like he wanted yeah. to go, but good decision by him by not going because he would have. I figure Mr. Howard at first probably would have threw him out by yeah. a few steps. Yeah, he uh, catcher whipped it down there in a hurry. There was really no no chance to run to third on that. This will bring up first baseman Ryan Mallett, number 13. He has flown out the left and struck out looking, so uh, he's 0 for 2 on the night. Uh, great night for him, so he's due. So if he can put one in the gap here. I suspect that Jason Neal is going to score from second. Here's the pitch. Ball out. Fastball high there. Yeah, that's going to be ball one. 1-0, one -oh, two outs. Top half of the sixth inning. Whippets lead it 3-2, to two, but Bio's got a man on second, and they are battling here. Here's the pitch. Going to appeal. He didn't really see that. That's be hard on that appeal, Matt. Yeah. He does not have that angle standing where he not, is standing. Not real fair to appeal to him because he can't see that. Now, if he's down here at first base, he's probably going to call that a strike because it looked like a strike from up here. Um, but there's really no way to appeal that to uh, to the like, field umpire. There. Like we're going to get a visit from Kosciuszko's coach or one of Kosciuszko's coaches. Yeah, pitching coach comes out, I think, and uh, is going to talk to Braxton Smith. They don't have anybody warming up in the bullpen unless they're going to bring somebody in from uh, from the field. Of course, Braxton still pitching. I mean, he's still pitching well. So, I, you know, again, I, he may be at a pitch count. but well, Matt, he's at 83 pitches so far. Yeah, he's getting on up there. 
53 strikes. He gave up five hits, two runs, two earned runs, and four strikeouts. Yeah, Mr. Randy Gray going to go out and break that break that conversation up and uh, tell him let's get this game rolling. Bio does have somebody in the bullpen. I didn't catch his number before he turned around, uh, but they had somebody sort of loosening up out there. So that may be the last that we've seen out of Mr. Cox. Number 15. Number 15 for Bio Academy. Carson Allen. Carson Allen, okay. Yeah, he's actually a, he's in the lineup, so I believe. Look, he got in on his hands, Matt. It's going to be a tough play. He got by the left fielder. Yeah, that's going to be a tie ball game. The left fielder drops the ball. It'll be a double. Like the – Braden Rigby had to get out there and pick that ball up because his left footer dove for it. Yep. He got the yep. ball in, preventing run a, the batter taking third base. Got to yeah. like the effort, though. Oh, there's no doubt the effort was – that was – you can't – I can't argue with the kid trying to make a play. No, and I mean, you know, he he's just trying to catch that ball and get out of this inning, and I, I totally understand that. But there's a, a double there for Ryan Mallett, going to bring up Elliot Lloyd, the catcher who has an infield hit and a strikeout looking. Like we're getting a runner for courtesy runner. Number 16. That's going to be for Ryan Mallett, the first baseman. So this is actually going to be a pinch runner. Pinch runner. Uh, so that's a 3-3 uh, three, three tie ball game. 16 for them. Jack Osborne. Look well, like the pinch runner at second base for Bio is Jack Osborne. Okay. Osmond. Osmond. Osbun. I'm Osmond. Getting, getting corrected. I got these headphones on. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to hear. That's another strong base hit left side. Are they going to wave plate here? Nope. Coach D. Haynes holds him up. That was a good, solid hit by the catcher, Elliot Lloyd. Well, Matt, I think that's going to do it for Mr. Smith yeah. tonight. And here comes the coach on second visit. You got to got to pull him if you have two in an inning. Yeah, he mounted to have somebody out there on the field he's going to because they don't have anybody in the pen warming up. So, uh they're going to go out and have a little chat on the mound, and, and then they're going to have a, a change of pitchers. But I tell you, hats off to Braxton Smith. He pitched a great ball game tonight. Uh, he moved this game along. He threw a lot of strikes. And at the end of the day, he ain't coming out because he's walked a bunch of people. He's coming out because they're finally catching up to him a little bit. So how many pitches did you say? Matt, he completed his night, 85 pitches. Yeah. 55 strikes, 5.2 innings, five and two-thirds innings pitch, six yeah. hits, three runs, two earned, zero walks, and four yeah. strikeouts. Great outing for Braxton Smith. He uh, he did a great job, so hats off to him. While they warm up, we're going to take a timeout and hear another word from one of our sponsors. At Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents like me are on a mission. It's our duty to offer you the right insurance so you can protect what's important to you. I enjoy using my time and insurance expertise to help folks in the Grenada community. It's just what I do. I'm George Chandler. Give me a call at 662-414-0541 for a quick home and auto or life insurance quote. And to learn more about Farm Bureau Insurance so you can save money and time. Go Chargers. Parents and students are just shocked when they find out with a 20 on your act you could go to home cc for free do you have a 20 on your act why yes wait 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 hold on a sec you're right i am shocked you're saying my tuition could be free <laughs> yes and your household income does not matter why in the world would homes community college offer free tuition with a 20 on the act see we don't want you drowning in college debt when you graduate in fact all of us here at homes are so committed to our students success we've kept our tuition well, lower than every other state community college. And even though parents and students are shocked by it and have a hard time believing it, just remember, your tuition could be free with a 20 on your ACT at Holmes CC. Sounds to me like there's no place like Holmes. That's Holmes Community College. All right, Matt, we're back. Well, Matt, that 
<clears throat> looked like uh, they brought in number 25, Aiden Howard, who was playing first base for Kosciuszko. We'll have to look and see who goes to first base. But that that pitching change is the Harlow Law Firm call to the pen. All right. It's sponsored by Hall, Harlow Law Firm. For all your legal consultant needs, give Rusty Harlow a call at 226-7215. We appreciate Mr. Rusty and supporting Grenada Charger Baseball this year and all the things they've done for this program. And yeah. Give those guys a call if you need any law needs. Any legal needs, go call Rusty. And, and Matt, while we're at it, we missed the fifth inning stretch. That's brought to you by Training Consultants Incorporated. For all your technical education needs, give TCI a call at 1-800-560-1744. We didn't really have an official uh, fifth inning stretch tonight with the Chargers not playing. We didn't play our our normal song, so uh, we kind of missed that. We apologize, but uh, we appreciate TCI for sure. All right, at the plate now, this is going to bring up number eight, Chase Chacon. He has Popped out to the third baseman and grounded out to the first baseman uh, tonight. He uh, has a runner's on first and third and two outs. There's his first pitch by Mr. Howell. We got a little mess here. A little yeah, it like he threw the ball back and Mr. Howard wasn't ready for it. Now, this okay. is a big spot in the game right here. Yeah, got a 3 3 tie, top of the sixth here. Two outs, runners first and third for Bo. We'll see what happens here. Hit definitely scores one. Yeah, got to stay lively here. Center fielder Chase Chacon, he's put the ball in play both times. Mr. Howard needs to pick up where Braxton Smith uh, left off, throwing lots of strikes, making him put the ball in play. It's two, two outs here. Again, tie ball game, top half of the six. Here's the pitch. Oh, ooh, nice ball play two. by the catcher. Got to love that. Oh, that was a heck of a play by the catcher. He blocked that ball up and kept it close to him. Kind of fielded it, yep. got that run at first. Yeah, I like this catcher. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when the pitcher was warming up, he was talking about arm slots with the pitcher, like, hey, you need to get your arm up. He uh, He's certainly out there coaching him, so I like this catcher. He is definitely being a field general like a catcher is supposed to be. No doubt. As people don't know that don't know a little bit about baseball, they – they call the catcher the field general because he's the only player in baseball that has the whole field in front of him. That's Everybody right. Everybody else has somebody or the fence behind him. Touches the ball almost every time. Here's a pitch. The ball almost hit him. That ball, it, yeah, you're exactly right, Matt. It almost hit him. I thought it might have got him on his sleeve, but he didn't say anything, so I guess, I guess not. But it is a 3-0 count, so probably taking all the way right here. I would, I would take all the way. We get your bases yeah. loaded and – Bring up your next guy. Keep that line moving. Well, your next guy is your leadoff guy. He's going to fake a bunt here. And uh, he will he will walk right here. So. Base is loaded, Matt. Yes, yeah, is a, a cool situation right here. You got runners on all the bags here. Your leadoff guy coming up. He has flown out to left. He has a single to right, and he has grounded out to the pitcher. So this will be interesting. This is Mr. Reed Hallman. He is the left fielder. We can get a hit here, Matt. Would you, th if you were the third base coach, would you wave your guy at second, get a two-run lead, or would you hold him up? Well, that's just going to depend where that ball lands and uh, who it lands in front of, too. Got to know that arm, where whoever that is. You got to know that arm out there. So uh, we shall see. Probably going to hold him up if I had to guess. Give Carson Allen a shot, too. That's a, That's first a good pitch strike. Good for the there. pitcher right yeah. there. He kind of went 3-0 the first batter, then went 3-1. Then he starts this guy off with a fastball strike. So that's big for him. Started off with a strike. Had to do it. He's got to get in there. He's got to know where to put him. There's the pitch. That's a good breaking pitch right there. Mm, man, that was nice. Definitely a good breaking pitch. Yep, 0-2 count. count. This is going to be a situation where Mr. Hallman's going to, have to choke up, put the ball in play. He's going to have to battle right here. He digs in. 0 2 count now. Reed Hallman. Here's the pitch. 
He puts it in play, grounds the shortstop, Rigby, who tosses it over to second for the third out of the inning, and he leaves them loaded. I mean, that was a close play at second. Mm, was it was. Play. I think he had him by maybe a half a step, uh, but that will take us into the bottom half of the sixth inning. And uh, I tell you what, that's close, 3-3 ball game. This was a good one. He left them loaded. Great job there by Mr. Howard to leave them loaded. Uh, so, Kosciuszko going back in now to hit. Who you got as our half-inning sponsor? That top of the six, Matt, was sponsored by Riles Auction. All right. Give those guys a call if for any of your auction needs for farm equipment, any kind of equipment. So, I know Mr. Garrett Riles. I deal with him weekly. So, give those guys a call if you need any equipment. All right. Good deal. We appreciate them and their sponsorship. With that, we'll take a timeout. Hear a word from Prairie Farms. you might see me at a Grenada High sporting event. We might cross paths at the grocery store or the next benefit. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Marianne Bale. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. That's Marianne Bale at 662-226-4931. All right, we're back. Live action here at Charger Field. Again, good ball game. Kosciuszko Whippets versus the Bio Academy Colts. Tied 3-3, bottom half of the sixth inning. Got a new pitcher, Matt. Yeah, I saw that, Matt. What's his name? Oh, he <laughs> is already in the game. Let's see. His... Carson Allen, right. He came from right field in to pitch. Not sure if he traded places with Brazier Cox. Or Cox looks like he's moved to first. He's first left base. First. So they got a little bit of fruit basket turnover. Not 100% sure on the defensive changes here. But Carson Allen in to pitch. Uh, so see how he does here. Bottom half of the sixth inning. Benny Powell up. He has really smoked the ball today. Benny's a good hitter. He has got a base hit. He has got two base hits, both to left field. Uh, and each time he has he has hit it hard. So here we go, three hole hitter. Here's the pitch. Oh, ooh, gonna call that ball too, but I guess I'll call that strike. I think one. Randy had a different opinion there, Matt. He, uh, Randy might be seeing, knowing that strikes get him out of the, get yeah. him out and get him home tonight. He He's had been a different here all opinion, day. Matt, but he was wrong. <laughs> That ball lifted into right. Tough play. That is a tough play. It's down. Base hit again for Benny Powell. Uh, that is a very good placement of that that ball. And, uh, you know, Benny scored a run back in the fourth. He is three for three with three hits, three base hits tonight. And he has sprayed it around, two to left, one to right. Great job by Benny Powell. It's going to bring up the catcher, Barrett Kewen. Uh, he, uh, I, again, I, I mistakenly didn't write down what he did in the first inning. Uh, he got out, so I, he was the third out of the inning, but I don't know what happened. Then he struck out looking in the bottom half of the fourth. I think we might see a bunt here. Here it comes. Well, he pushed bunt it to the right side. They're going to let it go foul. Ooh, man, that was close. <laughs> that was a good bunt right there by Barry Kuhn. That ball almost stayed fair. Matt, I think on a, a turf field, that ball probably stays fair. I think you're right. But on this natural grass, it's going to roll foul just about every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a good uh, play by the first baseman letting it go foul. He picked it up just as it did go foul. Really good job right there by him. That's going to be uh, your pitcher, Cox, the starting pitcher tonight. Might Barry Kewen, here at first. one mm -hmm. strike. Here's a pitch. He squares the bunt. Runner takes off. That Thrown is airmailed into center field, and Benny Powell 
We'll move on over to third, Matt. That, yep. It's a stolen base. Wade Incorporated, stolen base. Appreciate Wade Incorporated, Matt. And remember, nothing runs like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. We appreciate Wade Incorporated. Well, Matt, now the, the your situation at the plate as a hitter changes. You, yeah. We're going from moving the runner to moving him over. Now we got to get a ground ball on the infield, a fly ball in the outfield, or yeah. something to get him over. A lot like the corners are in. So they're probably going to give the run up and hit to the shorter second baseman, shortstop or second baseman here. Get it past the pitcher. And well, they were looking bunt again. Third baseman's playing three, two steps in on the grass at least. And uh, Mr. Kuhn was definitely not bunting. He took a mighty big cut. He's he's cleanup guy, so he can hit. Got a one-two um, count on him. And he can hit for power, so here we go. There's the pitch. He did hit for power. He drove that ball in the left center field gap. Left fielder over to make the catch. Looked like, he, looked like he run it third. Might have left the hair early. Okay. There, Matt. That's why he did okay. not tag. I'm wondering what was happening there because that should have been a sacrifice fly and the fourth run of the game for Kosciuszko. But as it is, it's a fly out. To the left fielder for the first out. So he didn't tag is what you're telling me. He left a, a, a split second too early, but good awareness by Benny at third yeah. there to not leave early. And or the coach get, to holler at him to come back. Yep, get doubled <laughs> up. This brings up Braxton Smith. He was the earlier pitcher now playing first base, I believe. That's a strike on the outer half. A strike Pretty good one. fastball there, Matt. Yeah, uh Mr. Carson Allen is working mighty fast. He is He's moving through it. All these pitchers have worked fast. I, and, again, I appreciate that. <laughs> Pitcher comes set. Here's the pitch to Braxton Smith. That ball down and in. He swings at it and misses. Strike one. Strike two. Apologize. 0-2 oh, count now. One out. Got a runner on third. Boy, Kosciuszko needs to get this run home. They do. Not trying to be biased at all, but if, if Kosciuszko wants to win this game, this is critical. That is a nice pitch. Boy, pitch that right pitch there. broke hard. Good gracious, that was a good pitch. That is a strikeout looking for Braxton. Oh, backwards K. Yeah, that's his second one of the night. He is, he's 0 for 3. Two strikeouts looking and a pop-up to left. This is going to bring up John Wyatt Roscoe. He is grounded out to the pitcher and grounded out to the third baseman. So he's put it in play, but he has not got a hit tonight. Got two outs, bottom of the sixth. Ball down. Yeah. Not a strike for sure. Got a feeling number 27 might be due for a hit right here, Matt. Yeah, he's 0 for 2, so he's definitely due. Here's a pitch. Ooh, and he gave him a strike. Like that pitch might have been a little – it was inside, a little bit up compared to the first one, but it brings it to a 1-1 it, count. It here. was, yeah, definitely closer there. I don't know. Still not sure it was a strike. But he called it, so it is a strike. There's a pitch. Ground ball. He grounds it to the second baseman. He comes up with it, makes the throw. Bio gets out of it. But Matt, number 27 for Kosciuszko was running down that line. He's trying his best, but uh, it just couldn't do it. He's grounded out to the second baseman for the third out of the inning. Boy, that's tough for Kosciuszko. Get the leadoff guy and Benny Powell up. He steals a base, gets over to third, still nobody out, and then they go one, two, three, and Bio gets them out of the inning. So top half of the sixth. Nothing cooking for the whippets. That's bottom half of the sixth. Bottom half, yeah, well, I'm reading my scoreboard. <laughs> bottom half of the sixth, Matt, that was brought to you by Winona Tractor. Winona Mr. Tr Paul Black is probably smiling hearing me say Winona Tractor. I bet he is. I If I could get to their, uh, to their uh, sponsorship, I'd play it. But instead, I think we'll take a break and we'll hear another word from one of our sponsors.
there, this is Kevin Jackson with Landmark Realty, your hometown friends in real estate. Are you looking to purchase your first home or maybe just your move up home? Or maybe you're looking to even sell a home. Well, we've got you covered. Our dedicated team is here to make your real estate journey smooth and stress-free. From charming starter homes to move up homes or even selling your home, we have it all. And here's the kicker. If you scan the barcode now, you'll get our exclusive buyer profile system absolutely free. Your dream home is just one click away. Landmark Realty, where dreams become home. All right, Matt, we're back. We appreciate Landmark Realty and all our sponsors for all that they do for Grenada Charger Baseball. And we uh, have the uh, Bio Academy Colts coming to the plate. Carson Allen, the pitcher of record, is uh, coming to the plate. Howard's still pitching for Kosciuszko, Matt. Yeah, he did pretty good getting him out of that earlier. Um, Starts him off with a strike there. This top half of the seventh. This is supposed to be the last inning, but it's tied 3-3. Three to three, So, if sudden doesn't happen, we're going to have free baseball here tonight. On the ball outside there. That, that last game between Cleveland Central and Kosciuszko, boy, we flirted with free baseball there. But we, but Kosciuszko f- made the pitch, got the outs. And yeah. We didn't have any free baseball, so we've been flirting with it. Yeah, and, uh, of course, I know you know how I feel, but after being here since about 8.15 this morning, I'm about ready to head to the house. So, been a long day here it has, at Charger Field. It's been a Field. good day at, at Charger Field. A lot of baseball played. A lot of people been here passing through our gates, and we appreciate everybody. But I'm ready to get a little bit of a break and come back up here and do it again tomorrow. Ah, that's a base hit right back up the middle. Carson Allen smokes one. That's a start by old needed, Matt. Yeah, and, and again, he's the pitcher of record. He certainly wanted that. That is uh, helping himself out here. His first hit of the night. He. He struck out, hit by a pitch, flew out to the right fielder. But that right there was a good hit. So, he's got that one right back up the middle. Looks Basically. like we're going to let him run too, Matt. Uh, they probably should. He's a pretty swifty kid. I could tell by the way he got out of that box. They might want to let him run, pitcher or not. It's going to bring up shortstop Bo Linkus, who has lined out, got a sacrifice, and grounded out to third. There's a pitch ball. Breaking ball in the dirt. Excellent stop by Kosciuszko. Yeah, I don't think anything's gotten by him all night long. Kid's good. He was like a block brick wall back there. Yeah, he's done a great job. Nothing hitting that screen, as my daddy always used to tell me. Nothing by you, nothing hit that screen. Do not let anything by you. I don't care what it takes. Here's a pitch. Oh, Oh, man, we jinxed him, dude. (laughs) We jinxed him. Golly. As we said that, he like a breaking ball, Matt, and he, he thought he could glove it, but, hey, you know. I mean, it wasn't a strike. Don't get me wrong. No. But I'm not sure it was a wild pitch either, so just no. something he didn't handle right there. It puts the runner at second base, top of the seventh bow here. Yeah. One one count, no outs. As, again, it changes the your aspect, your, your mindset as a hitter, too. At least get him to third here somehow. Yep. Less than two. Come set, but he stepped off. Well, we had a communication or something, or yeah, may may have been seeing if he would move his hands on that bat, see if he's going to bunt. He didn't show it though. He skies that one in the center field. Powell under that. Oh, a little trouble there with it, but he ends up catching it. That's uh, not what Bio wanted. You know they didn't want that. No, they gave up an out, still running at second. Yeah, but I, I still – I bet you they take a chance if, if they get a, in, uh, a single here to outfield. I bet you they can probably take a chance and score him here. Yeah, it's going to be uh, Brazier Cox, too. He's grounded Now we're out. getting a, a courtesy runner for the pitcher, number three. Brazier Cox is grounded out to second, hit by pitch, and popped out to second. So he's gone to second a pretty good bit tonight. No hits. He's one to hit right him. here. He, saw, he threw a heck of a game for Bio. He Mike. did. He didn't have to hit because he pitched very, very well. 3-3 three, three game, top of the seventh, one out. Got a runner on second for Bio Academy. Howard comes set. Here's the pitch. 
Good pitch, pitch there for a strike, yeah. These pitchers are doing a great job of throwing strikes tonight. They're just coming right at them. I know we've said it a bunch, just keep saying it. Hour comes set. There's the pitch. A little ball outside there. That was definitely yeah. a ball. It's right inside the right-hander's batter's box. Not a yeah. bad place to miss. Yeah, not a bad job by Q and try to get around that ball, bring it back in. Just you weren't gonna be able, be able to do it there. You can tell the game's kind of slowed down. Late in the top of the seventh, got to make that pitch. There's a pitch. Fouled off. Matt, that foul ball is brought to you by Sparklight. Yeah, appreciate Sparklight and all they do for Grenada Charger baseball. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runner on second, 3-3 three, three ball game, top of the seventh. One, two, count. Here's a pitch. He drills that one in the center field, but that's going to be caught. They're not going to be able to rue the runner again. Heck of a job by Kosciuszko's pitcher, yeah. Mr. Howard. By He got the leadoff runner on, and then pass the ball and – Got the runner second, no outs, and back-to-back -back fly outs to the center fielder. Heck of a job yeah, coming in and making the pitch. It's going to bring up uh, the second baseman, Jason Neal. He is uh, I know he lined one back up the middle, Matt. Yeah, Matt. I remember he that. did. Uh, smoked one back up the middle. He's got two hits tonight. Flew out to right field in his first at bat, but he's two for three. And I'm betting if he puts one down here, they're going to try to score from second. So, Good pitch. Good pitch there for sure. That was a nasty one. Strike one. I think Coach Haynes will wave him around with a base hit. I think he's going to take a chance. I don't know. I think he doesn't have a choice. I think he's got to try to get this run home. I know Bio's got to come back tomorrow and play. Yep. I think they played a 3 o'clock game and a 6 o'clock game. I think the 6 o'clock game is against our Grenada Chargers. Yeah. Here's the pitch. All down. So they, they're getting three games in this tournament? Mm-hmm. Okay. They got the late one tonight, and they're getting two tomorrow. Okay. I'm almost positive. I might be wrong. I have been wrong before in my life, and I'll admit when I'm wrong. Well, I know we have Horn Lake first, and then there is another game. I think, they, I think Bio plays Horn Lake, and I think we play Bio. It's got to be what it is because I can't think of anybody else that was coming to this tournament. So, you're right. Yeah, Bio gets three games in this tournament. Same as us. Foul ball. Matt, one two count here. Like I said before, yeah. Mr. Howard has done an excellent job getting two outs with a runner at second. He not has. Al not allowing Bo to advance him. Yeah, he's he's pitched very, very well, giving Kosciuszko a chance here to uh to get out of this with no run scored. Got a two strike. At bat here for Jason Neal. There's the pitch. He grounds it to the third base side. Third baseman up with it. Makes the throw over to first, and he airmails it. They're going to try to score it right here. And he is going to be out. He got him. He sure did. That was a heck of a job by that catcher. It was, Applying that tag and showing it to, to the he, umpire, uh, saying, yeah, I got the ball right here, sir. He got it, and he got there in front of home plate, kind of kneeled down and cut off the, the lane. Had to slide. He did, but uh, he was out. That was a really good play there by the catcher, and credit the first baseman for glant, easing over there, getting that ball and throwing him out, being a heads-up play there. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a tough out for, uh, for Bio, especially if uh, Kosciuszko comes back here and wins this ball game. So. A heck of a play. We're going to say this top half of the seventh inning is sponsored by Hankins Lumber. Hankins like I said Lumber. before, we appreciate all that Hankins Lumber does for 
grenade to charge of baseball, and definitely you see Mr. Lee around a bunch of, at all the athletic events, and we appreciate all they do for us. And with that, Matt, I think we need to hear from one of our sponsors. Yep, we'll hear another one here, right here. There are times in life when we find ourselves in need, when we call upon the help of our closest friends and family. As your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I'm from right here in Grenada, Mississippi, and I'm here to help you and your family. I'm Robert Carolla. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. Go Chargers! <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Well, Matt, that brings up Kaziska and Bob on 7789. Chris Edwards visiting with us here in the press box here at the end of the game. Got me choked up with something he said. Something about you going out there and taking out that. Taking I think out. I, I nominate Chris to go take <laughs> that camera down. If you haven't had an opportunity to climb that ladder, you need an opportunity to do so. Strike there on Ryan Tillman. Got one one count here. I think Chris told me a story this year when he was deer hunting, putting a stand or something up, and hey. The stand fell and something, and he happened to see a tree and uh, hit, pushed against the other tree and slid on down. Didn't hurt nothing. Like a cat. Like a cat. He needs to go out there and get that camera down. If he, That's right. if he, can, uh, if he can climb them deer stands, he can climb that one, ladder. I think we had a one-two count here, Matt. Yep, we do. One-two count. There's the pitch. Ball gets away from the catcher. Ball two. Two-two count thinking that Carson Allen's still pitching here. I didn't see a pitching change. He's still pitching. Oh, let's see here. Ball oh, count. Boy, Kosciuszko love to have Ryan Tillman on base right here. Full count. Nobody out. He is looking to get on. There's a pitch, and he is. He gets a walk. He's hustling on down to first. Ball gets by the catcher. And Tillman's on first. Nobody out. Kaziska Matt, we saw that at the, the top ball. of seventh with Bio there. You know, yeah. they got a runner at first single. I think by the number number 15 pitching. And Aiden Howard for Kosciuszko did a heck of a job. Uh, that runner got the second on the pass ball, but the next three batters, he got him out, and he did not move from second. Yeah, and Matt, speaking of Aiden Howard, he's up to the plate right here. So, uh, he could uh, – he's squaring the bunt. He bunts it foul back behind the screen there. So, that's a well, foul Matt, ball. Matt, that bunt foul ball is sponsored by Sprint Mart. Sprint Mart. I stopped there. I stopped there at about uh, 8.15 this morning and got my son and your son a sausage and biscuit. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't have to get four sauces and biscuits. Two apiece. It may have been four. I'm not 100% <laughs> sure. They just got it. They came with a bag and some drinks, and I didn't ask any questions. I got balls outside. 1 1 count here. 1-1. Biggest thing here, Matt, if they do bun it and the third baseman feels it, that catcher has got to cover third here. If he does yeah. not, that. Run at first will not stop at second. And I, and I would be looking for that, too, bringing him on around. Good bunt. bunt. Catcher not covering third baseman goes back, but they get the out at first. Good bunt there by Aiden Howard. Moves the guy to second base, Matt. We're going to have a walk-off tonight. Well, we got number nine hitter Braden Rigby come up. You know, the last at bat, I think he's the one that did the suicide squeeze for Kosciuszko, did a heck of a job of, of – making that play happen, getting that ball down and scoring that run. He did. He did. He has a strikeout and that and that uh, suicide squeeze going on for him right here. So, let's see what happens. Runner on second. Need to get him home. Here's the pitch. He, too, is squaring the bunt. He's got wheels, though, right? He can run. Yeah. I, I can remember watching Braden this summer. We played a little bit of center field. He played a little bit of center field for us and some balls hitting the gap at Braden. He ran them down like – you know, I definitely could never run that fast. Man. Like a deer? Like a deer. Running like a deer. Running like a deer. 
There you go, Paul Black. Here's a pitch. He bunts nice it right bunch. out in front. He's probably not going to beat this one out, Matt. No, he's not. But, hey, he did his job. Yeah. yeah. It is two outs. Runner at third. Yeah, you know, here, uh, pass ball wins this ball game. Uh, base hit wins this ball game. Andrew Mansell coming to play, and he is grounded out to third. He's got a base hit, and he's been hit by pitch. So, uh Let's we'll see if well, Mr. Mansell can be the hero tonight. Oh. Well, like we're getting a visit by yeah. Coach D. Haynes. Yeah, he's going to call a timeout, walk out onto the mound. I don't suspect he's changing pitchers right here. I think he is probably just trying to break up this little momentum that kosciuszko has got going on. Wouldn't you think? I would think so, Matt. He's – Probably out there explaining some strategy here. Hey, you know, this guy's your leadoff hitter. Um, you know, if we might need to try to get him out, but let's do what we can to make yeah. sure he hits a ground ball. You know, he hits a ground ball to any of the infielders. You're out of this. We're going to free baseball. Yeah. Kosciuszko don't want free baseball, though. Probably neither one of these teams want free baseball. Well, I expect Bio wants it at this point. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I imagine they want to go one more and see if they can't get a run across, but I know Kosciuszko doesn't. As it is, Andrew Mansell coming to the plate here. Got a chance to win this ball game. He just Matt, needs one thing about it, if he hits a ground ball, your infielder's going to have to yes, sir. be really quick because he can run. He can run. That's a good pitch, though. Yeah, that's a great Strike pitch. 0-1 oh, count here to the leadoff hitter. Bottom yep. of the seventh. Runner at third. Swing and miss there. He was trying to end it, Matt. Yes, sir, he was. He was trying to end it. 0-2 oh, count here. He's going to have to choke up now and put this thing in play. Ball uh -oh. by the catcher. Ball this by could the catcher. Be it. There's your ball game. Yep. Kosciuszko scores the winning run. Walks it off on a pass ball. By the catcher, maybe wild pitch. I'm not sure. That was kind of a tough one there. Yeah, you, you Matt, uh, you really hate to see a yeah. game like this be ended on that, but you do. But uh, as it is, Kosciuszko does come in here and win that ball game. That's that's two wins for Kosciuszko today. Yep, Kosciuszko won two. Uh, who we play first today? Uh, Madison Central. Madison Central won two. Right, right. Uh, and uh, Bio lost one, and Grenada lost one, and Cleveland Central lost, lost two. two. Yeah, and so Bio will come back tomorrow. Uh, we'll see Horn Lake tomorrow here for the first time. Bio will come back. Chargers have got another game tomorrow night. Come on out, support the Chargers tomorrow night. Game's at 6 o'clock, I believe. 6 o'clock. A little earlier tonight, so if this was too late for your bedtime tonight, come back tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, and don't eat before you come. Definitely not. Don't eat. We need to concession sell some more burgers is, for the other concession stand. It's one of the best, though. I mean, I'll tell you what, we got some good cooks down there. They do a great job. So, anyway, Matt, I enjoyed it. The Matt and Matt show, first time ever. We'll have to do this again, but – We'll leave you tonight with Kosciuszko winning this ball game four to three in walk off fashion uh, for Kosciuszko as they head back home, and we appreciate them being here at the Grenada Invitational Tournament. So.